Carol. What? The difference between a peeping Tom and a pickpocket. I don't know. What is One snatches your watch. Oh. <laughs> the other watch is your snatch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Oh, All God. Right. Uh, hello. Please Welcome please. to Murder Hobo, Inc. Uh, I am DJ. I have hijacked this game this evening, uh, running my own. Uh, a nice little classic adventure. I'd say dungeon crawl, but not quite dungeon crawly. But anyways, uh, yes, we have a uh, number of players that are my uh, pawns this evening. Uh, we ha uh, Could everyone please introduce themselves and their characters? Who do you want to start with? Let's go with you, Carol. Since you just Me? <laughs> All right. So hi, everyone. My name is Carol. Uh, I am a longtime gamer, occasional GM, and commission mini painter. Uh, tonight, oh, and I also play Taryn on the campaign. Tonight, I will be playing Torga, my uh, hill dwarf uh, fighter. So can't, can't wait. Who do you want next? All right, uh, Alan. Hi, I'm Alan, uh, standard everyday gamer, uh, <laughs> Eternal DM, excited to play for a change. And heck, first time I'm streaming too. So I am playing Kalari, an Eldrin elf noble, a uh, ranger <laughs> warlock. So ought to be interesting. <coughs> oh, this will be fun. <laughs> Blake. <laughs> I am Blake. I am gamer. I was on the campaign. Now I, now I do this when we run out of people and they have to bring me back. Uh, <clears throat> but this evening, I'm going to be Prudence, the half-elven knowledge cleric, and I know more than you do. Probably. Oh, that's no doubt. <coughs> uh, I'm Ashton. Um, I got a couple games. It's probably my second time online. Um, I'm playing Mac, uh, Dra a Dragonic uh, Sorcerer. All right, excellent. So these are my uh, sad, sad, sad victims this evening. <laughs> um, I would like to give out a personal shout out to my mother. It is her birthday. Happy birthday, mother. What a thing to Hi, be Mom. watching, yes. man, Mom. Excellent. You're going to regret <laughs> this. <laughs> so uh, I Hi, will... <laughs> I will let Carol do the uh, other info that I am not oh, memorized boy. in. Yeah, so we'll see. Let's see how I remember this. I did this before, so hopefully pretty well. Uh, so as Frank likes to say, follow us on Twitch, follow us on Twitter. Check out our YouTube archives, which has all of our previous episodes. Uh, buy our awesome shirts and stuff. Uh, we have a store, and I believe that is somewhere blinking on the screen somewhere. I don't have it up. And the last video, we do have a Discord. So if you want to talk about DD or anything else, uh, we're there. Uh, come and chat. Uh, also, I'd like to thank our sponsors. Uh, first of all, Oddfish, uh, Oddfish Games, makers of Adventure Sense. So when your game stinks, well, at least your room doesn't have to. Uh, and they will be coming up. Uh, I don't remember the dates. I'm sorry. But they, they are, will have another session of hard RPG with their, with their cat coming up. Uh, the info is on Twitter. Uh, the other thing is, of course, our other sponsor is Pirate Dog Dice, uh, makers of really awesome custom dice. Uh, like I said, I don't know if our Etsy stores have yet, but I mean, I really love, oh, I'm not used to this camera and I'm going to screw it up. I focus, on my dice. focus. <laughs> yeah, I got a brand new camera. So, hey, I don't look like a freaking ghost anymore. <laughs> And a whole new we'll change setup. that tonight. We'll change that tonight. <laughs> yeah, sure. And yeah, I play with this guy all the time. Uh, he's he's my bestie, so I'm looking forward to this. All right. <laughs> so I believe that's the opening. And yep. without further ado, uh, let me begin the adventure. So there's going to be a bit of reading. Uh, please bear with me at this part. <clears throat> Your party has answered the recently posted notice in the Bluefall Kingdom. Seeking adventurers to brave depths and explore a wizard's sanctum. Caution, danger has been verified. Only those brave souls seeking glory and fortune should contact Captain Gale Ironhand at the third garrison's office. Directions below. <clears throat> Having gathered and arrived at the third garrison office off of Parade Street on the west side of Clearwater in, uh, in the Aqua District, you only waited a short time before being escorted into a large, but Spartan office. 
there you have met with Captain Gale Ironhand, a male, well-built, gray-eyed half-elf with short, clean auburn hair. He greeted you and asked a few questions about your party and their deeds before going into details. <clears throat> about a month ago, a group of miners located at the Whitewood Diamond Mine discovered a chamber as they were making a new tunnel. If you're not familiar with the place, Whitewood Diamond Mine is located 50 miles east of Clearwater near the eastern border of Bluefall Kingdom. It is about a mile or so north of the town of Whitewood where the miners live. The mine is set in the dungeon is the in the Dragon Spire mountain range near the southern tip of it. Anyway, the reports say that a group of five miners were the first to enter into this chamber. There, they encountered some strange beasts which attacked them. The description of the beast from the two survivors claim that it looked like a giant metal bull. When it attacked, it huffed forth a green gas. Two of the miners that were caught in this green gas were reported to turn to stone. After this report, the military, the local military, uh, military lieutenant in charge of Whitewood dispatched a squad of soldiers to investigate. Two of the six sol uh, soldiers uh, returned with a more detailed report that confirms the miner's tale. Along with one of the spell guard members dispatched, uh, he indicates that the chamber was in fact a well-designed room. Given the way it looked and the spell sigils spotted, they believe it was made using magic. After that report, the crown sages were contacted. With their assistance, we believe we may have stumbled upon the fabled sanctum of Kilborn the Powerful. The sages believe that the beast and miners and soldiers encountered a gorgon, a beast like a bull covered in metal. It has a breath that can turn a man to stone if they are caught in it, and it is a powerful creature that can gore you with its horns. At this point, the captain produces an old tome from a drawer and hands it to the party, uh, most likely prudent, since you probably look the most academic of you. I, I greedily take it. We decided to do some research on Kilborn in hopes of learning something about his about this sanctum. Though there were some written plays, songs, and historical accounts of Kilborn's deeds, the only direct information from the man himself is this book. This book, Mudge, Perseverance, Power, The Keys to Success, is the only known published book by Kilborn. The sages inform me that this book was published throughout the kingdom about 200 years ago, just before Kilborn vanished. At that time, Kilborn was old and, ma and many believed this book was his memoirs or legacy. Though I have not read the book myself, I'm told that it's not much help at all. Although there are events, ideas, and philosophies in that book, along with a number of meal recipes, I'm told, it doesn't seem to amount to much. I guess the book is seen as a joke within the, acade uh, within the arcane academic world. You're welcome to hold on to it in case it comes in handy somehow. What I'm asking you all to do is to go into this chamber, defeat the Gorgon, and explore the rest of it. If you encounter any other threat, deal with them. If you find items of value, knowledge, or of great significance, catalog them report them to us. For this, we are willing to pay each of you 500 gold and possibly a cut of what is discovered within the sanction. If the items found are deemed too dangerous, we will pay, we will pay an extra reward of 200 gold each. Left unchecked, this sanctum may unleash something terrible upon the town of Whitewood. With this, you have all agreed to take the job. Captain Gail Ironhand instructs you to contact Lieutenant Rachel Weed in Whitewood. There, she will help equip you with a few items and guide you to the mine. With the thought of gold and glory, the danger of the Gorgon seems worth the risk. Mm. Yeah, sure. After five days of travel, you arrive at Whitewood, where you meet <laughs> your contact, Lieutenant Rachel Weed. With her assistance, she guides you to Whitewood Diamond Mine. <coughs> Before she leaves you, 
She gives you each a basic potion of healing and a single oil of stone to flesh. She also hands you a map detailing where the Sanctum Breach is located in the mine. That's handy. Uh, at this point, um, if anybody wants to see if they might know something more. Can I actually roll, as a sage, can I roll to see if I have read this book? Uh, sure. And actually, go ahead and roll me a history check. Okay. Uh, my That's 24. Excellent. Um, you probably haven't read this book, actually. Okay. Um, you are well aware that this... Uh, you were well aware of the tales of Kilborn the Powerful. Uh, within his youth and such, he was very legendary. But uh, this old, this published book is literally seen as a joke amongst uh, the academic. So I, I wouldn't uh, have friend. felt it even relevant. Yeah. Okay. Uh, apparently, though, there are uh, the few that have read it have stated that the recipes for meals in that are actually pretty excellent. <laughs> uh, you do know, though, that uh, Kilborn the Powerful was a well-known ma- uh, wizard about 300 years ago. In the arcane world, he uh, he advanced magic within Bluefall Kingdom and was known to teach and learn from various races and cultures. Kilborn was an adventurer in his youth, but then retired and became very reclusive uh, as he got out in age. <clears throat> so, uh, and and I'll, I'll, I'll divulge that information as, yeah. Yeah, you've had plenty of time. You've had five days of travel and you probably have read through the book and it's, it, yeah, it doesn't really... What, reci- what recipe stands out as the most ta- tantalizing? Uh, I'd probably say a uh, grilled chicken dish, but the seasonings used um, use some very exotic seasonings. Uh, there's actually um, some, well, dragon hide, like basically uh, ground up dragon scale. Uh, from a red dragon. Uh, he has like several different ones. Oh, yeah. Uh, no, we are not. It's for like a spicy, our... uh, for like a spicy uh, aspect to it. We're um, not gonna descale you for the spices. <laughs> uh, no. Oh, just not a right single now. spot. Yeah. just a single scale would do. Um. So at this point, yeah. Um. So you, after an hour of traveling through the dark, who has line, who has the vial? Who took the vial? Uh, that's a good question. Who did take the vial? Uh, the oil, I, I have restoration. Not I'm probably gonna somebody who I would um, say somebody you know, at range. Somebody since who... you know this is a gorgon, you can go ahead and roll me an arc. Um, yeah, arcane check about its uh, breath and its stoning ability. Uh, I don't got that. <laughs> Mine's uh, yeah. nine. Have you? Yeah, he has sixteen. All right. Uh, I'm not proficient in it, but let's see what I get. So, um, uh, 18. Ow. Oh, good. Very good. Um, with that, uh, you know that you would end up becoming petrified. So you may want to check your spells on whether or not it can reverse petrification. But you do become paralyzed before fully petrified, correct? No, uh, you become no. restrained. Restrained. Oh, okay. That's it. Okay. I know this quite well. I've heard of another character that just apparently she's sitting in this other realm called Cacophony as a statue. Because I happen to my friggin' rogue. We're going for two. We're going Breaking for the two fourth characters. wall already. <laughs> yeah, well, it happens on this show. <laughs> All right. So. Um, the last little bit uh, before the encounter begins. Uh, after an hour of traveling through the dark mind, you find yourself at a section of wall that has a hole in it. The hole is large enough for an adult human to fit through with little trouble. From the hole, you can see a faint blue glow that brightens and dims in a pattern as if it were breathing. So, first question is, who of you have dark vision? Uh, do I do. Sixty girl, you have dark vision, you're a dwarf. <laughs> Uh, He's the only one that doesn't. I think, let's see. Um, uh, We're half Collie, uh, Collery. Is it Collery? Yes, Collery. Yep. Uh, um, you are just a straight high elf? Uh, Eldrin elf, yeah. Eldrin elf. Okay, yeah. Um, I forget. Do they have dark vision or just low light? They do. Uh, 60 feet. 60 feet of dark vision? Okay. So none of you act 
I believe then that means none of you actually need light currently. Oh, he, I, he does. I do. Oh, you do? Okay. I, 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 okay. Dragonborn, unfortunately, surprisingly, can't see in the dark. <laughs> that seems so strange. I I'm going to sit, yeah, yeah, sit, sit down and do an augury. Okay. <clears throat> we await. Uh, and I'm going to basically just pray, beseech Agma for whether or not moving forward into this area is going to help us with our quest. All righty. And let's see. If I type it correctly. Oh, wait a minute. I didn't type it correctly still. A-U-G. Yep. Is it G-E-R-Y? No, G-U-R-Y. G oh, U. That's why. I was typing that wrong. <laughs> there it is. Found it. <clears throat> so there's no role involved. Okay. Um, to help you with your quest. Yeah, in, in, in what we've set out to do, effectively. Uh, you ha you receive a... Oh, there is a role, actually. Not, not for oh, the first more time. More times, that's right. That's yeah. right, more times. Um, you receive a wheel. Since it's, okay. Uh, okay. Uh, with, so this uh, is where we need to... So this is where we need to... Quest. Yeah, so I'm going to convey to everyone that this is where we do need to be going. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, um, right. who who uh, do you? What god does your character worship? Agma. Agma. Yes, you um, have a wheel, positive results uh, given to you through Agma, and uh, probably a, a servant at Agma. Uh, so you hear a disembodied uh, voice amongst your. I feel it. I feel somewhere. it. Deep, yeah. yeah, deep, deep in, deep in my loins. <laughs> That special tingly sensation. Exactly. Like a roller coaster. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Excellent. All righty. So with that, uh, how do you want to proceed? Well, before we get too much further, I would just use Fiendish Vigor to cast False Life on myself, give myself some temporary hit points just in case. You can never be too sure. Uh, let's see. Three plus... Four, so seven hit points, uh, temporary hit points. I am not the sturdiest cleric, but I will happily give anyone that wants to go first some guidance. Uh, I will probably go first, and so I'm a well-armored dwarf. Okay. Ever then since take... my humble beginnings, when I basically walked out of town with nothing but uh, my clothes and my my trusty sledgehammer, which now kind of shines. Uh, I can go first. Okay. And and do do you are you a willing creature? Do you accept guidance? Yeah, of course. Okay. That is what on skill checks, right? Uh, yeah, D four do any skill check. Skill check. Okay. For up it's to like, oh, it's only up to a minute. Yeah. But <coughs> all right. What do you, what do you want? What do you want for a trip? <laughs> uh, what type of marching order are you in? I guess I go first since I'm I, a I am armored, armored enough that I could go second. Okay. Okay. And Mac, uh, where do you want to be? Like third um, or fourth? I'm last with the little torch. Okay, fair enough. Yes, yeah, so yeah. you you probably have like the only uh, source of light. Uh, do you all have your weapons out? Are you prepared for danger? Or are you going in kind of like yeah, this is fine. I always oh, am prepared. I'm yeah. a dwarf. <laughs> My, of course, my, my weapon's out. Hand just in case. My, she, my shield is ready, and I'm, I've got a quick draw dagger, but that's about it. I All think. Right. I think with a large, with a large war hammer, it's always out. It really. I suppose it could go on my back, but nah, it's out. She's, okay. She looks like this. So, taking your positions and marching order, you enter through the hole in the tunnel. As you enter in. Um, you enter into a, room, a large circular room, uh, about 50 feet in diameter. The walls are made of smooth stone that arch up to a peak in the center of the room. The arching ceiling reaches about 15 feet high, and at the center, a soft blue glow pulses that provides bright light. 
To the east of the room, a 10-foot wide opening leads up a staircase to beyond your view. To the north, a shallow alcove, just large enough to fit a creature in it, is veiled in the shadows. As you enter in, other things that you see are, you see a number of <coughs> statues just <laughs> near the entrance. These, um, must be the, these must be the children that the soldiers brought in here because they were young adults when they came in here to collect diamonds. <laughs> uh, you see a uh, number of adult-ish size uh, individuals of a couple different races, um, a few dwarves. And why were they described uh, as minors? A halfling, yeah. Uh, a few oh. individuals in clad and armor, <laughs> yeah. No, they could have been, they actually may have been minors in our sense of the word. Mm. <laughs> That's for sure. Um, and <laughs> say we people. Yeah, there's a total of what. Um, There's a total of eight altogether. I, I'm sorry. Did we have to <laughs> resolve the issue of who took the, the stone to flesh? Oh, I don't think we did, actually. Who did? Prudence. I guess Do you I'll want to carry? It. Okay. All right. Uh, yeah, yeah I, I have sorry. no problem giving it up. I'm, right. I'm, I, I, I'm, I am blessed by Agma's uh, knowledge to uh, somehow resist, I think. I don't know. So I can get uh, around. <laughs> you got so it'll take one action to apply that, just like any other object, unless you have like the fast hand rogue trait that allows you to use an object as a bonus action. Um, there, so there are actually like you see um, six statues, and you do see what appears to be probably two, but have been broken to pieces already, and are just completely destroyed. I'm going to look on the ground, see if I see any tracks, perhaps to one of the openings. Oh, you don't have to. Because also within this room, about the center, as it begins to move and shift, you see a large, uh, the Gorgon is a hulking monstrosity. It looks oh, like a bull, gonna be early, man. but is covered in rusted Ur. iron plates. As it moves, you hear a horrible screeching sound of the rusted iron scraping across rusted iron. Its deep red eyes glow intensely <laughs> and it stamps its front hoof as you can see puffs of glowing green smoke blow from its oversized nostrils. <laughs> With that, we're going to start initiative. Yeah. So everyone go ahead and roll me initiative. All right. And Frank is rooting for a TPK. Are, are we rolling <laughs> each time or are we keeping it? Uh, no, we're keeping the initiative. Okay, I, yeah, I, okay. I go, I go old schoolish on that. Eighteen. Why have I think you're doing that? I got a twenty-two. Seven, you got a net twenty-two, 22 here yeah. too. Excellent. Uh, I've got a fifteen. All right. I'll go second, I guess, because I was fourth in line. No, yours is a net twenty. You got a twenty-two as well. Oh, was I got a nineteen. Uh, yeah, his was a dirty twenty-two. Yours All right. So, um, Kalari, what'd you get? Kalari, <clears throat> I got a twenty-two. 22. Excellent. Prudence, what'd you get? Uh, 18. 18. Uh, Mac, oh, you got a 22 as well? Yeah, with a nat 20. All right. We'll give you that plus. Um, so you get to decide if you want to go before or after. And Torga, what'd you get? Uh, what did I say I got? I got like a 15. 15. No, wait. <coughs> oh, I got a 14. Sorry. Not 14. that really. Yeah, that's fine. Last uh, is last. So we got <coughs> Mac, do you want to go first or second? I'm going to go ahead and uh, use an acid splash. All right. So you want to go first? Okay. Yes, Let me just get no one else is right order, there. So. Sorry. Uh, yeah, I'm assuming that we've kind of fanned out once we've entered this chamber. Um, Prudence, what did you roll for an initiative actually on the die? 15. 15. Okay. Not asking for any reason. Of course not. Completely, you know, random question here. Yeah, exactly. All right, so, Mac, you are up first. Um, you are probably about 25 feet away from the Gorgon. The Gorgon is uh, just standing up as it notices your presence. Uh, he's pretty much in the center, or it is in pretty much in the center of the room. So what would you like to do? 
Acid Splash. Acid Splash. All right. So uh, you are casting that as your action? Yes. Okay, excellent. Go ahead and... Uh, is it a save or an attack roll for that? It's a save, right? Uh, 14. It's a two, it's, they have to make a dexterity saving throw. Excellent. Very good. Let's see. What do they make? They make a nat one. <laughs> oh, the Gorgon takes it right in the face. Go ahead and roll your acid damage. Oh, that's that's cute. That's funny. Two. Two. Excellent. <laughs> Two. Rips. <laughs> As I trip and fall. It kind of like shakes its head. The acid just kind of drips down the metal. You see it's sizzling. Uh, some of it obviously getting in the cracks and actually hurting it. So it kind of gets a little bit more angry. Uh, it is. Uh, is there anything else you'd like to do? Would you like to move or bonus action or anything or anything? Wacky yeah, wacky this action? is this is a circular chamber, correct? Yes, it is a circular chamber. So if you want to try and reposition yourself, you could. Um, but, but it's your call. No, I think. Um, after that, I think I'm gonna maybe step back a little bit. Uh, do you want to stay within the room, or do you want to step out of the room? No, I just want to want to step behind everybody else. <laughs> okay, so not very far. You probably take like five feet. Uh, yeah. The the entrance uh, coming the the area just coming into the room is basically rough terrain. It's difficult to get through because of all the rubble from the wall as it was uh, broken into. So it's going to take an expeditious retreat. <laughs> so you you probably move around that a little bit away. Um, probably next to the uh, entrance. Uh, with that, it is uh, Kalari. Or Kalari, yep. yeah, if I'm saying that correctly. All right. I guess I'll start by uh, running clockwise around the room, uh, try to get into somewhat of a flanking position if I can, and go as far as I can. As soon as I get there, cast the uh, Eldritch Blast, uh, two bolts. All right. So Excellent. let's see. Ah, do, 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 do. 21 for the 21 first one. will hit. And for the second one, uh, 12. 12, unfortunately, will miss. So the first one Ugh. does hit. At least there's one. Let's see. That's a d10. Uh, five points of force damage. Five points. You blam, blam, throw out two uh, magical force uh, uh Bullets from your arms. Do you have any particular color or, uh, or image that they come blood out as? Blood red. Blood red. Two just intensely bright blood red bolts come out from this elf, uh, uh, this elf-like creature's hands, and the first one just smacks into the side of the uh, of the bull-like creature, the gorgon, as the other one goes a little wide as it starts to move and turn. So minus. All right, and is there anything else you'd like to do? Um, let's see, let's see. I guess I should have done that for a start, but... Oh, yes. Better late than never. Uh, I will do a Hunter's Mark on him. All right, Hunter's Mark. Just please remind me that you have that on there. Because I have sure. chance I may not remember. Okay, <clears throat> with that, it is now the Gorgon's turn. The Gorgon has a few choices, um, but uh, I think it's going to have to go after the uh, individual who just did the most damage to it uh, so far this round. Well, wait, um, wait, wait, wait. Are we still in the, are the, is he still sort of in the corridor with me in front? Because I haven't even gone yet. I'm still busy. No, you haven't gone yet. You're, you're all in the room at this point. You've gone through the breach into the Okay. Uh, he, was... uh, Car, uh, Carly uh, decided to go a little bit. Uh, did you okay. go right or left? From I right left. You. Left. Sorry, you, moved. you went left uh, around the circular, around the edge of the circular room, uh, trying to get yes. into more flanking positions. So it is actually going to be going uh, a little bit left of the party. Um, uh, what do you move? Thirty or thirty-five feet? Uh, my movement is thirty feet. Thirty feet. Okay, so roughly thirty-ish feet away from you all. So it will um, basically charge at you. It's going to move its full move or most of its moves. <laughs> and it will make an attack on you as it comes barreling at you, horns down. Yeah. Oh, a 10. I don't like that. I miss you. Uh, what was that? 
a 10. Oh, I'm sorry, an, uh, 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 a 12, a 12. <laughs> I'm assuming that's yep, it. This is me. <laughs> uh, I make the assumption, but you, know, you never know. Yeah. Hooray so, for armor. You uh, definitely dodge aside like a matador dodging a bull as it comes barreling past you. Uh, ends about uh, another five feet away from you, turns and metal hooves just stamp across the ground. Um, do, do you have a red cloak? Please tell me you have a red cloak. Please tell me you have a red cloak. No cloak, sadly. <laughs> so unfortunately with that, that's its turn. So now it's Prudence. Your turn. The, the, the first going, victim you know, has I'm missed. Charging, I'm charging full ahead of it. And as it, in my charge, you see my my armor almost turns into that of a nun's habit. My arm becomes a ruler, and I inflict wounds upon it with a 22 to hit. Excellent. Uh, a 22 will most certainly hit. And I do 18 necrotic. Uh, do I have to make any save for that? It's No, it's a two hit, so it's an 18 necrotic. 18 necrotic. All right. You do a very good amount of damage on him. Okay. Uh, you see it rear back up. Uh, giving a uh, almost a bestial shriek, but with a metal reverb to it, as it uh, and I and I, and I just I stay literally front of it. I wept it on the nose, and I'm just locking eyes with it. All right, excellent. And bringing up the final part of the initiative, Torga. Everyone else uh, is going before you, leaving you behind. Yeah, what's with that? All right, I assume I can <laughs> get to it and find room to smack it, try to smack it. Uh, let's see, how many attacks do I get this? I get two, right? Yes, I get two. All right, so I'm going to make a couple of attacks with my, my Warhammer that looks like a mining sledgehammer. Uh, and I'm using Great Weapon Master. All right. On um, both of them. I'll probably roll like shit. Oh, yeah, I roll like shit. That's going to miss. Now you're doing that one, sir. That one is a miss. It's just a miss. Are we hitting our friends? No, it's just a miss. I, oh, I am okay. not, not, right. not the evil GMs. I'm, you're not play, I'm actually you playing this hit me. straight. I'm, I'm actually, this is an experiment for this show. I'm playing it straight on this one. <laughs> I'm not modifying my monsters like I do in my home games. <laughs> I, believe, I believe Frank is booing us right now. Probably. Although I did choose some nasty I rolled <laughs> a one and a three. So unless it's going to be, yeah, it's, it ha that didn't even break a 10. God right. damn it, my dice suck. So you run up yelling your dwarven war cry, I'm guessing. And unfortunately, yeah. as you smash into its hide, its metal body, uh, plate covered body, just is able to absorb the impact and shunt any damage away. That's, that's going to be my save against its friggin' Mm, yes, yeah, excellent. So, uh, Mac, you are up. You are, you're now you're all, you're kind of all alone now, over back by the entrance. Everyone else has kind of run up to this thing. Um, and how close are the are they to it? Who's? Uh, I think pretty much everyone is just is within five feet of it. Uh, probably starting to surround it a little bit. Um, I'm a little slow here. That's fine. I'm yeah. probably just going to go and do a fireball. Okay. Go ahead and roll to hit. Uh, 14. 14 will miss, actually. This is, this is not a pushover. Um, the fireball does smack into its hide, but again, that metal plating is protecting it very well. So that is uh, your action. Is there mm. anything else you'd like to do? Bonus action or movement? Uh, I'll wait right where I'm at. Okay. <laughs> Being smart and not getting into the horrible, uh, uh, angry uh, bull's face. Gotcha. That, that's that's intelligent. <laughs> yeah, I barely right, got 30 health points. Mm. So now it is uh, Kilari again. All right. Kilari, I will. I say. Yeah, Kilari. <laughs> I will raise my spear up and focus on it until I get a green flame starting to form along the edge. And then I will thrust at it. All right, excellent. Make your attack. Uh, 18. 18 will miss. Oh, my uh, God. Doctor's mark. Yes. 
Hunter's, uh, Hunter's Mark. Does that add any oh, yeah. bonuses? Uh, if I remember right, Hunter's Mark just adds damage to it. Damage. Let's see. Um, I think you can track it too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah if it yeah. ran away, we advantages could track to tracking it. and extra d6 of damage. Uh, so, unfortunately, you feel oh, like you're about to strike geez. home, and it just moves so, a little bit, and the armor plating is able to deflect the blow. Though, with the other. Am I flanking it? Um, I'm going to say no right now. It, it basically, you were kind of in the front of it, it. And you are in front of it as well. Pretty much you're all in front of it currently. Yeah. So unfortunately, you yeah. will just miss. Yeah. We don't mm. flank. We said we don't do the flank rules, right? Which is advantage. He's trying to, but uh, actually. Are you allowing it or not? you want to move around, I'll go ahead and allow a flank, which would be advantage, I believe. So, All right, go ahead so and roll again with roll advantage. Driving. Yeah. All right. I, you, we'll see. you were saying flanking me, yeah, that's, so that's I'm going to make the assumption. Okay. I'm going to make the assumption not. that you try to go around the edge of it. All right, so unfortunately still, it's able to deflect the blow with its metal <clears> body. <throat> it is now the Gorgon's turn. So, that's is actually a good thing that you mentioned that you want to really try to flank. So it's going to go for the two people that are closer to each other. Yep. As it turns, or actually, it's probably already facing you, uh, Prudence and Torga. And it whoosh, puffs out green smoke from its nostrils. I know where this is going. I don't know. Each of you, Constitution? in a 30 foot cone, I will say that Mac. <laughs> You are just out of its cone reach since you did move a little bit away from the beginning area. I need both Prudence and Torga to roll me a constitution saving throw. Is this considered poisonous? Mm. I know it's a tough one because I have advantage to um, poisons. It does not say it is poisonous. Okay. I wasn't sure because uh, I'm probably going to Oh no, I'm gonna fail. Yeah, mine's that's also a seven. Fucking ten. Oh uh, yeah, that's a that's a that's an eight. God. So both of it. you not stoned become yet. restrained. Yeah. As your bodies okay. begin to stiffen and you can see little motes of gray forming on your skin. Mm, this might be a short adventure. <laughs> yeah, Frank is, Frank's going TPK, TPK. And you guys are blank, 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 blank. Yeah, I decided to I decided to go with the heart with the hard hitting ones it's this a, time around. Oh no. Uh, it is now so that is the Gorgon's turn. The Gorgon is not go moving. On. Uh it is now Prudence's turn. So let's oh, no. let me just uh read over this one more time. Each creature in the area must succeed. I need to look at that. Keep the save throw at the end. All right, so at the uh, end of this turn, Prudence, we'll need to I'll have another save. Throw. Yes, unless you okay. have something that you want to do now that might help you with that. I was going to say, is this considered a curse? <laughs> no. I have spirit guardians. Okay. Uh, so uh, remind me, spirit guardians, is at the beginning. I need a passage? wisdom save at the. All right, let me see here. Da, 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 da. An affected creature's speed is halved, and when the creature enters the area for the first time on a turn or starts its turn there, so that would also be this turn because it's mm -hmm. uh, the creature needs to make a three, I mean, he needs to make a wisdom save, or else it's going to take 3d8 radiant. All right, go ahead and roll that 3d8 radiant. Well, give me a wisdom save first. I already did. And, it oh, you, okay, and, and, and it's that's okay, gotcha. That is 17. 17. Excellent. Do Doing some good damage there. And then that's literally all I can do if we're doing, are we doing first level, first level bonus action? No, I'm just playing it straight for this one. Okay, gotcha. All right. Is Han, is, Han is 13. 13. You are able to to resist the petrification as you're able to just pull your joints away and break free as the as you see little flakes of your skin fall off that were beginning to turn to stone. You have successfully 
not been petrified. Oh, I love that you nice enjoy it. There. Do it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Torga, it is your turn. All right. So it doesn't affect my ability to actually hit. Nope. You're just restrained, so you can't move. Fucking damn my uh, Also, uh, because. I'm assuming you're attacking. You do have yeah. advantage on your attack rolls since uh, Kalari is flanking. I am going to go with that. Okay, cool, cool. Because I'll probably friggin' need it. I'm sure uh, everyone's uh, freaking out right now anyways. Uh, I am no longer freaking out. <laughs> uh, well, that is going to hit because my higher roll was an 18 on the die. Too bad it wasn't a 19 because uh, that would have been a crit. And uh, those are much better rolls. Uh, I'm not doing a great weapon master, by the way, because I saw how hard it was to hit it. So mm. that's a 23 is my low roll for my first. Oh, yeah, that they both hit then. All right. Uh, so that is 1d8 plus 4. So I need two, uh, 2d8s. Yeah, I love what great weapon master, but uh, 5 plus... No, oh, I'm like, actually, if you're using it two-handed, it's a D. Is that where the D10 comes Th that's, in? That's that's where the versatile, yeah, the versatile yeah. skill. Comes oh, from. I'm using it two-handed, so it should be right. a D10. So roll higher damage then. I will roll better than yeah. My even my damage rolls were friggin' shite. Oh, that was like a zillion times. That's nineteen plus eight, so it's nineteen and eight. Uh, Twenty-seven points of damage. 27. Is that total? That's between that's both of them? To that's total. And I'm using a plus one Warhammer. All right. Excellent. The bludgeoning. And then, you know what? Because of the circumstances... Oh, oh, hang on. Magical items? I have a robe of resist petrification. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I well, doubt that. Good. good. <laughs> yeah, sure. So, uh, <laughs> you know what? I'm going to blow my uh, action surge. All right. I'm gonna Blowing take the action surge. Yeah, getting it used After already. I Oh my god. Crit threat. I rolled a 19. I'm playing a champion. Oh, there is no crit threat. This is D&D. &D. You crit. Oh, right. Uh, uh, yeah. Sorry. Crit on the You're first mixing one. mixing up Pathfinder. <laughs> yeah, I know. Habits. Bad habits. Don't mention that name, by the way. They don't like it around here. Uh, <laughs> yeah. You're going to get crucified if you keep talking about Pathfinder. Uh, uh, it's funny. I'm going to be running a session of that. Uh, that's a 20 on the second attack. Now uh, They will both hit. All right, so a crit. So it is standard. Uh, uh, hey, D tens, Carol, not D D eight. What the hell am I doing? Okay, so so let's see. That is. Uh, all right, so on the first hit, that's eleven plus four is fifteen, and on the second hit, ah, that's going to be a measly five points. Right. So, did you get all that? Yes, so 20 total. Yeah. So, so you like just every... lay into this thing. Bam! 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 <laughs> bam! Four hits as you just swing viciously at it. And it takes its toll. The thing is looking bruised. No, it's not down! Green blood. You see green blood coming from its horn. One of those horns gets cracked off. It just looks horrible, but it is still standing. I know, Carol, I'm like it is, is it the end of your turn? Is there anything else you want to do? Oh, uh, that's you it. You are restrained, so you can't move. Uh, yeah, and but then, yeah. I'm not, I'm not going to move anyway, so not that I, I need would, you to make a constitution saving throw. Oh, it's on my turn. I was wondering yes. about that. God damn, it's, unlike my other character, this one actually has it as a proficiency. You think I would do better? Oh, yes! <laughs> Nat 20. A Nat 20. Cool. Along with the movement and just the pumping <laughs> adrenaline from your blood pushes back the <coughs> gaseous uh, uh, petrification as you become mobile again. You realize that just at the end of your last swing that you don't feel that stiffness anymore. You lucky pieces. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to get both right. my characters. So that I'm, is... I'm, uh, I'm, going to re I'm going to resist the easy joke. There you go. Uh... Yeah, he, 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 they're no longer getting hard, clearly. Uh, uh, Mac, it is your turn. What are you doing, Mac? Um, I'm going to try a fireball, and I'm going to miss. You're going to miss? Did you roll? What'd you get? Uh, hey. 
eight. Oh, yeah, unfortunately, that will miss. So, and th- fortunately, this time it goes a little wide. You're trying to avoid the, uh, the flailing, your flailing companions. This dwarf is just all over the place with the mall. And, and now there's books flying all around it, obscuring your vision. <laughs> oh, yes. And then you uh, you have these weird looking, uh, uh, like, glowing books flying around. Like, what the heck is that stuff? <laughs> That's fine. The, the last time I had spirit guardians, they were little like cherubs flinging shit out of their diapers. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Actually, I, I like that one. That was really cool. Um, Kalari, you're up. It is not looking All good. Right. You can tell that it is uh, hurt. Well, I think I will attempt to hit it again. Once again, swinging my spear around, casting green flame blade to try to knock it one more time and flanking so I have an advantage. Yep. All right. Let's see. Eighteen. 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 Just again. Ah! Again. It's 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 uh, you're 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 kind of attacking its uh its rump and its rump is a really big solid piece of metal. Sort <laughs> of the roast. Comes you're like from. aiming for that one that one bullseye in the back, but you just keep on missing it. <laughs> you mean that brown eye, not that bullseye. <laughs> So, unfortunately, your attack does slide off again. Uh, very disappointing, frustrating you. Uh, and it is now its Five turn. So right, and at the start of its start turn, of the turn, since it yep. hasn't moved, wisdom. Wisdom. It rolled a nat 20. Okay, so it takes... Does it take half? Uh, or, uh, honestly, it takes half as much. All right. So, that's going to be... Half of 12 is six. Okay, six. Excellent. So it is its turn. It is not happy at all. With I can't view. imagine. <laughs> um, it's, let's see, it has some choices. Um, Kalari is one. Prudence is two and Torga is three. I did just wreck it. If uh, that makes so, sense. yep, it is going to go after Prudence. Uh, okay. uh, so it will attack Prudence. Let's see if it can roll better than it did last time on its attack. Okay, not bad. Uh, does a 20 hit your AC? A uh, 20 will. All right. So it is going to do some good damage, actually. Got a big swing in damage. Yeah, it could have been better. Not bad though. Uh, it will do fifteen piercing damage to you. Okay. As it gores you with its one horn. I have no problem eating that. Uh, you're lucky it wasn't able to charge at you, or else it would have also gotten a free uh, trample attack on you. Right. So it stands its ground, assaulting you, getting some blood finally from the players. <laughs> um. Uh, and it's me that's its turn. A... You use an ability? No, I'm gonna go ahead and attack again. 19 hit. Uh, how are you attacking? Uh, oh, inflict, uh, wound. In, inflict wounds. Are, I'm assuming you're uh, for your turn, right? Yeah. So yes, its turn is now over, so you can go ahead and attack. So, what'd you get on your uh, uh, ni- 19 to hit? 19 will hit. <laughs> okay, and it is going to take an additional 19 necrotic. 19 necrotic. All right. With that, your necrotic energy fills into the creature, and you can see it give a hor- uh, you you hear it give a horrid wail that turns into a whimper as it staggers for a moment and then drops to oh. its side. Oh, I forgot something I have to do for spirit guardians. Yeah. I I say for spirit guardians. Okay. Now it has dropped, and you have defeated the gorgon. 19 was exactly what you needed to finish it off. Sweet. So sweet. Actually, really sweet. I'm glad that I, I'm like, I didn't even know that. But no, I, I did keep my concentration on spirit gardens. That's a 10 minute That's spell. Fine. I'm going to keep it up until I have to drop it. Fair enough. So you have defeated the Gorgon. Was there anything uh, in this cookbook requiring bits of this? Uh, no, actually. No Gorgon <laughs> bits. Um, although you can make some probably fine plates off of it. So you now have the body of the Gorgon and the remainder of this room uh, as the adrenaline 
pulls out of your systems. Uh, I would like to start by investigating the alcove. Okay, so you're going to go over to the alcove. Uh, while you're doing that, is uh, is there anything else anybody else wants to do? Mm. I guess I'll take a quick look around the room to make sure that the gorgon was the only thing we had to worry about in here. Okay. I might let the uh, I might let the smart people and observe people look around, and I may see if we can get a ten minute, get a short rest in, to reset my action surge. All right. And Mac, is there anything you wish to do or look around at? I would like to try to get some plates because I play with this character um, at home, like you say. So he wa- he wants some stuff for for next game. Yeah. All right. So you so you're, you're, you want to harvest some uh, some of the basically hide of this creature. Yeah, I can pick up the one broken off horn, right? Just pick oh, yeah. It up. oh, yeah. Okay, so um, first we'll go with the uh, looking around. Uh, Kalari, uh, go ahead and make me a perception check. Uh, ten. Ten. Uh, you look around. It's pretty empty in here for the most part. It looks like it's uh, mostly running room. Uh, for, you know, this creature and such like that. Um, you do notice, though, uh, let me get to it. Um, it's not much, uh, but there are several, you see the several stone uh, figures near the breach. Um, you obviously notice the uh, difficult terrain over by the entrance. All the statues have horrified looks on their faces. Uh, a couple of the statues appear to be the laborers, uh, and one of them appear. I and like a couple that of them term. appear to be what? Oh, the laborers. Labor, laborers. <laughs> uh, and a couple of them appear to be soldiers. You notice that um, amongst the laborers, there's one that is a little different. Uh, he is turned to stone, it, and in his arms, he's wielding his pick. But you realize the pick is not stone. Um, as you look at the pick, um, it appears to be unaffected by the petrification. And you notice that the actual metal of the pick itself uh, is kind of a is kind of a strange greenish um, type of metal. And as you look at it, like um, I'm trying to remember the terminology for it. I know Carol probably knows it. Where like when you look at it, it kind of changes color slightly. Uh, op- opulescent. Yes, thank yeah. you. Opulescent. As you you look at it, the metal sheen of it changes ve- uh, like slightly different shades of green and oh, gray. Oh, nice or iridescent or. Um, You're gonna have to break his hands to get it out, though. <laughs> Very possibly. Um, so yes, and it, it, he's holding it with like a grip, like he was going to attack with it. Uh, so, um, and next. other than him and the pick, is there anything else I notice about anyone? Anyone who looks important, perhaps, among the individuals? Um, the soldiers don't have any particular insignias that indicate them as uh, one being a much higher rank than the other. Um, they all seem to be, most of their gears the same. Uh, one of them appears to be a caster of sort, and he's got his hands up, looking like he was trying to defend himself. Uh, but nothing <laughs> sticks out as like a uh, clearly a superior. Because you were maybe going to use that potion, because that's exactly what I was thinking. <laughs> so. I was thinking of it, but if there's no one important yeah, about, we can, we can save it for ourselves. We may not need it after this, though. I mean, then then we can then we can. Whichever one looks like they're the most virile. <laughs> wow. Yeah, there, there's a there's a selection. Um, like you see, there's probably like two <laughs> human soldiers, and the uh, caster is a, a female uh, halfling. Uh, her hair done up in two little buns on her head. Uh, the the light light lay of the fierce. Yeah, uh, <laughs> well, I think uh, on the back s- of her small head. Leia, small Leia, small <laughs> Leia. Uh, the two, uh, the the few um, miners. Uh, one is a dwarf. The other appears to be a orc or half orc. You're not really sure. Do do we, what, do, do we happen to know the families of these people that were captured from our time in Whitewood? Like, no. is there is there a ransom? No, no, no. Uh, no information was given on that at this point. Oh, okay. uh, I think they're pretty much considered dead. 
uh, to... maybe maybe we could free run. They could go back to whatever town they're from and tell everyone what happened, and they could get oh, other people to save them. I, I, or it might be more prudent to try and get some information upon which one might have a reward for his return. That's very true. Mm, that would be preferable, I guess. And if no one, well, there's no threat now. We may as well leave them to wait for someone else to uh, fix the problem. Yeah, as long as no one knocks them over or whatnot, they should be fine. Mm. I shall, I shall that, call forth my sisters. <laughs> there is that uh, pick in that one hand. Um, so that is all that you really find. And you get, the oh, you can't get the pick out. There's no way to get that. No pick one's tried. Out. No one's tried yet. Um, I can try after ten minutes. Sure, but before then, the alcove. I, I and, and I did take my healing potion on my walk over there. All right. For for clarification. Very good. So you have healed yourself. Uh, basically, back to full. Yes. Okay. Um, in the alcove, uh, it is a shallow alcove um, that is uh, from the same exact smooth walls uh, of stone that the room is made out of, except there's a large indentation in the wall. Below you on the ground appear, uh, appears to be a circular pattern of sorts. Um, if you like, you may make an arcana check. Nah, I'm good. No, no, I'll go ahead and make it. Uh, with a nine, probably not. Um, you're not sure. This is something you really haven't... This is not something that you've studied, per se. Uh, you, you're not really sure what this pattern might can, can be. I, can I toss a rock into it in case it's like an explosive rune? Uh, sure, there's plenty of rubble around. And Toss a rock? Uh, do you, are you standing right next to it, or I'm assuming you're probably going to go away? Wait, you, you give, my, give myself a ten-foot berth. Okay. Uh, you toss the rock in it, Tap, 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 tap. Nothing happens. I want to enter it. Okay. Nothing happens. Uh, it is a little... It's much more shaded in here. Uh, dimmer light. Uh, the light's not really pouring in, but... Um, can I can I touch the ground and cast Identify? Um, sh- sure. We'll go with that. That's uh, And I'll do it ritualistically, <laughs> so I'll end, I'll end probably about the same time Torga does. Okay. Uh, so after about 10 minutes, Torga, you get your full rest. Nothing pops up and eats you. <laughs> that is, that uh, is very good. Uh, Mac, um, we'll, before we get to the identified Mac, uh, you spend some time harvesting some of the plates. Um, do you have any skills that will help you with harvesting? Um, I don't know. Ar- Arcana? Not, not in no. particular. No. Okay. Just go ahead and roll me a basic intelligence check to see, uh, you know, what bits might be good or whatnot. You're able to get that horn, though. 11. 11. Plus intelligence. Plus, hang on, plus intelligence. Uh, Main page. Oh, 12. 12. Excellent. Very good. Um, you don't know much about Gorgon anatomy, but you're like, okay, that looks like a good chunk. And this is literally, it's hide, it's skin. So it's not simply pulling it off. You, you have to spend some time to carve it. Um, as you're doing this, you do notice something, though. Um, where was it? Uh, wrapped around the gorgon is a collar. The collar is made of thick blue silk and is fastened with a silver clip. Attached to this collar is a large violet jewel that gives off a slight glow. Its shape is strangely carved and appears that it may be intended to slot into something. Oh, yeah. so, so I gotta do it. Like, uh, I want that? Now you can. Not you right. can easily take it off. Yeah. It just unclips. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah all right. Like yeah. It. All right. Not, and uh, yeah. And you get. Uh, we'll say that you get like a handful of the plates. It's messy. Uh, this actually was a living creature. It's not a construct, which is odd to say the least. I find, but uh, so that it's like. Under on one side of the plates, it's yucky, nasty. You know, it basically just like the skin off this thing. But it can be like leather, just for yeah. future reference. And you can probably, and you you suspect it might be able to like cleaned off. Maybe you can rub off the skin and just keep the organic plate that uh, that is part could, of it. Could probably turn this into, let's say, a studded leather. All right, J- just so, just just for yeah. All the right. new guy here. Nope, that's fine. All right, to move things along a little bit. So the ten minutes uh, ten minutes has gone up. Um, 
anybody who needs a short rest uh, easily can get that done. The identification goes off. Um, it identifies as a, we'll just say, a variant teleportation server. So this is an exit. Yes. Effectively, this is an exit way. Yes. I want to desecrate it. You want to desecrate it in what way? I want to damage it. I don't, I don't want this to be an escape route for someone. What about us? We don't have teleportation. Oh, that's just true. Okay. I don't, I, don't, right. I don't want our quarry to potentially be able to amp back here when we're in there. All right. So uh, how do you want to desecrate it? Oh. It is basically stone floor. But it's but it's it's carved. It's written. How is it exactly on? Uh, it is. It's not really carved per se. You're since you didn't since you didn't make the arcane check. You're not sure how it was made. It okay. looks like it, it's like the floor is smooth. But 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 with the identify spell, I wouldn't know what it was made of. No no, it's uh because it's technically not active right now. Okay. But what I want to do though is I want to call over. Torga, mm -hmm. and ask her to smash it. Mm, yeah, we could try. Uh, and meanwhile, I'm as soon as I finish, I'm busy looking at that pick. You know, my I'm a miner. You know, that's that's really interesting. Or, or do I recognize any of the symbols enough that I might be able to modify them in a way with some? Uh, you wouldn't be able to modify them. <laughs> uh, again, they are literally part of the ground. Okay. So I'll come over. If you do call me, I'll go. I'll break my gaze away from that interesting pick, and I'll come which, over. Which which I that. also would be more than happy to identify boop, while boop, you're boop, doing boop, this. Boop, boop, boop. All right, okay. sure. Go ahead, and Ooh, I come over there, idea. and and I will take the suggestion from chat, and I think that's from Heidi. I didn't even cast suggestion. What? No, 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 no. no. <laughs> I basically I have oh, chat. Uh, I, have I will remind running. you, just so um, you know. I don't know if anybody remembers. There is also a stairwell that seems to go up. Okay. Right, you can't see past it. All right, but 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 do, are are we in agreement with my logic that if yep. we go in, this is probably an ejecto seat, possibly. And but it's not going to do us a damn bit of good. That 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 makes sense. If we've got no one that can use it, that that makes sense. Um, I guess we will do. I will go and I, try to smash it. I, I mean, I'm, I'm taking. I'm taking. Consensus taken. Votes. I will. I will ask. Go ahead and make an arcane check. Who? Uh, prudence. And so, anybody, sorry, anybody who has arcane you, may roll. Anybody that'd be who has for a second. Oh, that'd be not so me. Mac may roll. I believe you have arcane. Uh, uh, Carly, if you have arcane, you may roll as well. I'm assuming you're informing everyone that what this is. Yes. Yeah, yeah, like it I am not proficient. Okay, that's fine. I got a uh, Mac. Fifteen. You're, are, are you? Are you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're a sorcerer. You're a professor. So, um, <clears throat> Mac. Um, Given what you have seen and what described, and you go over and take, probably take a look as well. Uh, let me get to it again. Um, you know that it is a some sort of teleportation circle, but it is currently inactive. Um, you would need to basically, given what this is, it looks like you need to turn it on, so to speak. It doesn't have any juice going on, and it doesn't appear to be like your typical arcane circle that somebody sets and then casts, it looks a little bit more independent. Your collar seem to have a, a key. Uh, do you look at the collar? Yeah, I'd like to. Is there a... Uh, no check is needed, really. You look at the gem on this collar, and you look at the slot. And it's like, that looks like it could fit right into it. Oh, I wasn't wrong. It doesn't need to be a spell. I don't think. No, I don't think so either. Maybe so. it can be a getaway for us. Ha ha. Or or we can, can wait. Or, or we can wait twenty total minutes while I finish identifying the pick and then identify the color. <laughs> you can do that as well. But there is more to explore in here, and I'd like to catch up. You guys. Go oh ahead. yes, me too. All right. So what are you guys doing? Uh, I'm gonna so wait got that for pick, him. To you got those stairs. You got this. Alcove with this. I won't. Uh, I won't waste. Or, I won't. I, I'll. I'll even burn a spell for the pick, so it's not ritual. Okay. Um, you cast identify. The pick is a plus one war pick. Okay. Can it be slid out of his? Aid hands? of animantine. 
right? And, and, and during during my my communing with this thing, <laughs> do I feel any any give? Is there any wobble? Um, it's not going to be easy. It's going to take some finesse if you want to try to wiggle it out without damaging the. Uh, uh, without damaging who's, the who's, who's, our, who's our sleight of hand person? <laughs> That would then uh, well I have a plus four to it, but I'm not yes. trained. I will for this I would take a um dexterity check. Um or sleight of hand. I'll go with that. That makes sense. I can uh, anybody can make these checks, obviously. If you're not trained, you just don't have any bonuses. Well while I was there. I started to and I rolled an eight, so I stopped. Yeah, it, it's just not budging for you. It's yeah. not wiggling out. Um, anybody else may try it, or you can try to strength it out and see what happens. Uh, brute, for, brute force is um, always an option, but then you have another set of hands on it when you use it. I'm going to try, actually, I have more, believe it or not, I have more dex and strength in this build. Uh, I will try to make a dex. Okay. I rolled a 19. Um, you wiggle it, and you find the right kind wiggle of wiggle it. position, and you're able to slide it out without damaging the statue. Sure, because I'm short, right? I have the right angle. Uh, it is a dwarf that's holding yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, Carol, you've got the right angle. I got the right uh, yeah. <laughs> It's all that shake weight practice. <laughs> all right, so you Ooh, now have this, this plus is... one magical animantine pick. Uh, what would you guys like to do now? I kind of want to keep it. Oh, I'll take a see- quick look up the stairs. Okay. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll adjoin. Okay. Um, the staircase leads up about 60 feet at a 45 degree incline. It then turns into a spiral stairwell. Traveling up about five minutes, you come to a dead end. The stairwell has collapsed in and has uh, formed a thick, dense wall of stone and rubble. Looking at this, it would take a well-trained team of miners to begin clearing it this out. And I want to no sit and meditate and cast this. mending for five hours. <laughs> uh, you can, but that's really not going to work because it's broken. It's like straight up destroyed. So yeah, you, yeah, this is not going to work. You don't know how deep it is. Okay, you don't know what's on the other side or anything like that either. So yeah, it appears that this way is blocked. Um, mm-hmm. And there's no indication from the bottom where this might lead. Like, like there's no... Um, ro- let's see. Um, roll me an intelligence check. Fair enough. Twelve. Twelve. Um, so you're in the mountain itself. Um Obviously, you are not well trained in the geography of this mountain and the mine and stuff, but you're guessing, given the incline and such, it's probably heading towards um, a little bit higher up in the mountain. But, but not necessarily area. the direction that we came from, or no, it's deeper. definitely it, well, it's hard to tell because obviously you went through winding tunnel and whatnot. But given the map where you're at, um, you don't think it's you think it could either lead to another chamber or even possibly outside of the mountain. You're not really sure. Uh, You're thinking, though, it is probably towards the edge of the mountain. (coughs) Okay. Well, what if I were to cast Meld into Stone? Um, Does that just meld you in, like, five feet or further? I, I can't remember if I'm allowed to move or not. I want to say, well, I'm thinking of an older version, but in the older version, uh, you step into a stone object, melding yourself and all equipment. Using your movement, you step into the stone. Uh, while merged, you can't see. You remain aware. You can use your movement to leave where you entered it. Okay, so never mind. That's not going to be helpful. Yeah, basically just let you get into the stone. Yeah. It's a height. It's a Heidi spell. Mm-hmm. I mean, like, height, height is an H I D E. No, I know what you meant, but is that it's funny because I know our Heidi, who's been on here, I, is, that's why that's she's why hanging up. out, man. So, what would you guys like to do? It seems that this path is probably going to go nowhere. Well, we have a pick. Maybe I could pick. A, 
<laughs> it would take and you an extremely long time. It would take like hours. What about it would, with, and again, you have no idea how how dense this is, how thick it is. Uh, you don't know if you're gonna bust right through or if it's gonna just go on and on and on. Do we find um, any manual labor? I'll leave can, it to can someone we, else. Can we can we put in like five, ten minutes worth of work and just see how Sure, you can do that. Um after about five minutes of work and no checks are needed for this. Um, you're a little, it's exhausting work. Uh, you're not used to mining. Um, yes, I am. You okay. I was going to say, are. I'm super, I'm supervising. <laughs> she is. A t- but, I am uh, a miner, you know. Yes. Um, actually, you're a miner. Uh, I am a that's miner. That's from your background? Yeah. Uh, I don't know if that was a background check, but that's, I don't know. That's from Go ahead and roll me an intelligence check. It's from her story background, yeah. Yeah, it's in the story background from where I originally played. Ah, oh, that was terrible. Jesus, that die been rolling great. I rolled a two on the die, so that's uh, a, yeah. It's that's it's a been a long three. time. Yeah, it's been a long time. Uh, you haven't really dealt with cave-ins a lot. This is my background. I don't remember what my background is. <laughs> and with that, we'll say Spear Gardens is down. Oh yeah, it's it's probably been down for a little while. At this yeah. Point. Just don't let don't let me try and play that card later. <laughs> I expect you guys to keep uh, keep track of your slots and everything. Right. So yeah, uh, given what you're given, like the amount of work you just put in, and it hasn't really budged much, and it looks like it could be a little dangerous if you don't do this right. Uh, this looks to be an unsafe way to go. Oh okay, yeah, was there any other ways to go? Uh, there is still that alcove. You know it has. You know it's an teleportation circle. You're uh-huh. pretty sure that gem slots into it. I'll and there bet. was nothing else of note along the border walls of the circular chamber, like maybe a couple gemstones or something we could grab on the way out. Nope. Uh, pretty much I, bare. I do believe. Boy, when did I become southern? Uh, uh, <laughs> oh, I do, I do the oh, I do the clan. <laughs> All right, so uh, I, I do, I do believe that we need to go through that teleportation chamber. Yeah, my my mother's husband would probably be like laughing his head off. He's he's very yeah. self. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, this Wilton flower is is exhausted. <laughs> oh, so darling, I, bless your uh, heart. I am the worst at accent, so I can't do a Scottish one to save my life. Oh, oh Mike, we were all doing Southern. We're in Scottish. Oh, right. dwarf. So, so are we the heading uh, to the alcove? Uh, yes. Uh, yeah. Right. So just, like the how, just like how all bards are gypsy. <laughs> Ironically, that's what I did, too, for my part. Uh, <laughs> Aaron so is not a gypsy. You head back down Romani. to the Gorgon's yeah. chamber and uh, go to the alcove. And, um no. The slot looks like the gem will fit. Does somebody want to put it in? Uh, oh, yeah. He, he's still got it. You uh, have it. Put it in, Mac? I... I'm going in. All right. Do you it. Step into the alcove, take the gem, uh, and it detaches from the collar, uh, and you slot it in. <clears throat> if there's room, I have a step in with them because I want oh. to go to wherever it's going to go, and I want to make sure I'm there for the trip. And can I ask for the blue silk ribbon? Uh, well, there's not enough time because uh, as you place the gem into the slot, there's a <laughs> moment of a there's a moment where it, nothing happens. Then a hum starts at a low pitch, but rapidly <coughs> increases to a steady high pitch sound. At the same time, violet light pours down a nearly invisible conduit that speeds towards the pattern on the ground behind uh, underneath the player. As the violet light traces out around the pattern. Uh, Mac, since you're standing in the pattern, you are bathed in a similar violet light. With only a few seconds, the pattern is completely filled with the light and you disappear. Okay. Does, does the light persist? Yes, it does I step persist. In. I said I was stepping in with them, by the way. Okay, uh, you step in a moment afterwards and you disappear as well. Yep. Third. All right. Oh, I guess going we through must that, go. Uh, yeah, anybody? Okay, so you're all uh, diving all into the through. to the to the portal with the demon face and the black. Actually, no, <laughs> and game time. <laughs> um, so you. each of say, you does it say free ice cream on there? Yeah, sure. It's free ice each cream. of you experience a strange sensation. Again, that roller coaster like your body tingles. is stretched to just nothingness. You feel like you become 
a, like a simple line uh, and it almost feels like it persists, but as you, as it ends, it feels like it just happened in a split second. Um, each of you are teleported to a very similar chamber, almost exactly the same, where violet light is bathing inside of it. And since you all kind of did this one after another, uh, you kind of cramp up inside that cha- uh, that little alcove. Mm. Oh, I'm a little, um, so who cares? As uh, you probably pop your way out of the alcove, uh, you find yourself in another large circular chamber. Oh, Kalari, how has... dare you? <laughs> Is there another the... Gorgon? No. Uh, let me, let me get through the description. Uh, it has the same smooth she walls. She did like the Brian Eye. <laughs> it does have the same smooth walls as the previous layer, or previous previous chamber. But Layer. this chamber is only uh, 13 feet in diameter and has the has a flat uh, parallel. Uh, it, excuse me, I wrote this a little incorrectly. The ceiling is flat and parallel with the uh, with the floor uh, no, that I only see. reaches 12 feet high. The room is dark uh, when you first enter in, but once you do. Uh, light begins to shine from three points on the wall, uh, the west, east, and north. Does the violet persist behind us? Yes. Can Within I... The... I would like to re-enter the, lot, the violet. All right, let me finish up this then. Oh, oh sorry, my, my apologies. Within the, cha- within the center of the room is a pedestal made of the same stone as the chamber that stands about four feet in height and is about two feet in diameter at its widest point. It is beautifully carved, uh, crafted and carved with various magical runes. Uh, atop the pedestal is an orb made, made of an unknown material. The orb floats about two f- inches above the top of the pedestal and swirls with any number of colors at any given time. After About a moment or so after you stumble into the room from the alcove, you hear a ominous voice echo throughout the room. Uh. Do not change my action. Thoust has passed the first test in seeking my legacy, a test of bravery. Now thou must pass a second test, a test of the mind. If thou hast come with my knowledge, then thou wilt know my <laughs> riddle's answers. Speak the answers to the riddle on the walls out loud. If thou speakest them correctly, the way will open. If thou speakest them incorrectly, thou shalt be punished for thy idiocy. Cookbook. Uh, I do want to, but real quick, what I do want to try and do is if I can take that purple gem back here with us. No, you can't. Oh, okay. okay. Uh, there is a uh, purple gem in the in this alcove as well. That seems oh, to okay. be. Okay, okay. I was just wanting thing. to not get trapped is what I was Absolutely. trying to do. I wonder if you say you can you can't take it out, right? You said to close the door essentially behind us. I, I would be trapped um, there if I did. Yeah. Oh yeah, because you have to walk in. You. Yeah. Yeah. The, no, that wouldn't work. I was trying to think ahead. Well, this is a room for all of you smart people. All right. I'm language not stupid the though. So, are you going to explore the room uh, then? Yeah. What language are they? Uh, it actually appears to be common. It just probably oh, okay. like a more old school form of it. E- so e- um, e oldie common. Yeah, he oldie common. <laughs> uh, as you enter in the room and look around, you see there are three different sets of written phrases or paragraphs. One to the west, one to the east, one to the north. Uh, it's basically uh, the light is coming from just below it. It basically illuminates the uh, paragraph etched into the wall. Uh, if you want, you can get your handouts ready that I uh, gave you earlier. Oh, okay. yeah, I kind of figured this. Yes, might this be is for reference, so I, can all, so I only have to read these once, and then you can just re- uh, go over them yourself. Uh, which one would you like to go to first? Uh, I'm going to, as the knowledge cleric, though, I'm going to advise everyone to just stay silent in this room and I and anyone that disagrees with me I'm willing to waste a suggestion to suggest that okay 
Ah, uh, if we must. <laughs> I guess I'll wander over to the west wall, see what the wizard has prepared for us. All right. Um, you read the west wall. You don't have to read it out loud. That's fine. But uh, it reads, I am born along with you and grow beside you as you experience life. I increase in size the more you devour. I come from many sources and can be left behind as a shadow. I die along with you, but can be passed on to others. What am I? Hmm. <laughs> I know I know what it is. <laughs> I think I have an idea too. Uh, what yeah. were you thinking? Greed. Hmm, I was thinking knowledge. They both work. Or time, or memories. Wow. Let, let, let's, 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 yeah, let's, this is in a, this is in a huddle. That's Lots fine. of options. I'm, Lots assume, of options. I'm making the assumption since you already gave the warning not to uh, do anything. This is more like you have to purposely. Yeah. Oh my gosh, it there's more intent. than, there is more than one answer here. Uh, it could be they're all tied to each other. Perhaps looking at the other riddles will help out with this one. Okay. You want to go through the other riddles first? Sure. All right. Which, wall would you go, which uh, you know. section would you go to? North or east? Oh, I north. the first one. Who yeah, would north. like to take them? Okay. North. We'll do north first. <clears throat> I can be granted to those that earn me, or I can be gifted to, the, to you by others. I am said to change those that wield me, often for the worst. I can raise people on high or bring them or bring people low. Many fear me, but many also crave me. What am I? This one I do know. Mm -hmm. This is power. Yep, that was that was my guess. Are you stating that out loud? Yes. Um, yeah. Stating that out loud. So in a loud, pronunciated voice, you speak it loudly. Power! You there you go. Power. I've got the power! <laughs> uh, as you speak it out loud, uh, <laughs> you hear a light chime ring. I hear a light shine. Chime. Like a oh, ding, oh, ding, okay, ding, ding. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like yeah. a ding. There we go. Cool. On. East wall. East wall. Oh, wait, I went past my riddles. One second. <laughs> <clears throat> on the east wall I am what makes you strive for something not easily in your reach I am often birthed by desire oh. but can be born from many emotions I lift you up when you fall give you strength when you have none left and drive you forward when you can no longer go on what am I uh, now that all of these have been read, you can easily reference all the handouts. What do you think? What do you think? I'm thinking it may be determination. I was going to say will, which I believe is the same uh, the, thing. The, the, triumph, the triumph of the will? Uh, and what makes you strive for something mm -hmm. not easily in your reach? I'm birthed by desire. Necessity. Hmm. I don't know. Well, I mean, that's not a bad answer. Options, options. I feel like determination. I like determination. Again, uh, uh, multiple, multiple versions, but all our ah, two of them have multiple things. Uh, the one I'm thinking of is the shadow for the top one. Let's see. Come from many sources and can be left behind as a shadow. Not much as the wizard left the book as his shadow. I still think it may be knowledge. A memory? The knowledge is... It can be passed I, oh, on. I, I increase in size the more you devour. That knowledge Which makes, more that makes sense. Come from many the sources, more you read. Behind is a shadow, I die along with you. I, I agree. I agree. The knowledge cleric, the knowledge cleric shouts knowledge. <laughs> All right. The knowledge cleric shouts knowledge. As you enunciate and give your intent... Announce knowledge. You hear another chime. Ah, oh, yes! Huzzah. Good. The last so one. So that just leaves the third one, then. Mm -hmm. Makes you strive for something not easily in your reach. 
because this is necessity is the mother of invention. I'm often birthed by desire. I can be born by many emotions. This, this, I honestly want to think is greed. Mm. I don't know because, mm. Mm, I mean, I'm not the smart one here though. I like determination. My first thought was will, your inner will, that something. Hmm. Fall with but, when you have none. Oh, Miss. But, but see, that's many it. Oh. options. Many options. Look when you fall. I get knocked down, but I get up again. Vodka. <laughs> you want to announce that one? No, 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 I don't. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, this one is. Oh, so many choices. Oh, what what is left when you have nothing? As I said, I I can't do that. I almost even want to say hunger. Back to Taryn about it, man. I think it's will. Willpower? Mm -hmm. That's what I was. I said will. I, I like determined. I mean, yeah. I like determination, too. Well, and, and I'm like, so So we've had... We've had... Knowledge, power, determination. Oh, Lord. Hmm. I'm like nervous. I I like the sound of those three things, but willpower I'm 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 okay with. But determination no, is more. I like I like the term determination more than will. I mean that's the way I'm not I'm not the smartest. Half, halfway person through here. her saying that determination, 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 determination. You announce determination. This time you don't hear a chime. Instead, oh no. Oh no. Shit. Suddenly, you see the orb glow. Oh, fuck. And the or the from orb the orb, colors. yes, the orb turns a green color. And then a burst of acidic energy splashes throughout the room. All of you are in range. All of you must make me a reflex saving throw. D dexterity? Yeah, sorry, dexterity. That's my bad. Right. <laughs> my, that's my Pathfinder showing through. All right. <laughs> that natural 20 for a natural total 20. Of Excellent. Also an at 20 for 23. All right. Excellent. Mac, what'd you get? Nine. Nine? Oh, that's about, about to do well. That's a 19 for me. Right, so. Luckily, most of you made it for half damage, unless you have something that negates all of it. Uh, I don't believe so. So, uh, Mac, since unfortunately you did not make the reflex save, you are going to be taking a total of 14 acid damage, <coughs> and the remainder of you take seven. Seven. And how long has it been since I cast uh, False Life that first time, Finish Vigor? Oh, at it's least, probably been about a half, a half hour. hour. Yeah. Half hour, so it's still there, luckily. There you go. I'll go I'll go with willpower if that seems to be the overwhelming consensus for next. Oh, God, this is gonna hurt if we don't get it right. Any uh, Before is there any, he uh, does that, I'm just gonna cast false life again. <laughs> okay, fair. Huzzah for at will. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that gives me Six this one, this more one, temporary HP. Yeah, you're gonna TPK us on a riddle. That'd be amazing. That's a that's a great way of killing a party, uh, actually, in my opinion. Just <laughs> like is there <laughs> any? We did it for ourselves. Are there any checks that could be made to help? <laughs> um, if you want, you can go roll an intelligence check. Oh, that'll be good for me. Yeah, this will be. I'll freaking laugh. Well, my intelligence check is 21. I said mine was an awful, but it was a 12. We'll go with both of them. Um, given the statement at the beginning when you entered this chamber, um, you believe that the statement, if thou hast come with my knowledge, may refer to his book. 
Red dragon scales. <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, so what? What I, my I mind is gleaned my from the from the book because by now I have devoured it in its entirety. All right. Um, so you're pretty familiar with the book at this point. Um, go ahead and roll me a wisdom check. Good thing I'm proficient. That's going to be a nat one plus seven, so eight. You're pretty sure it's those uh, red dragon scales. You're like, it's got to be one of these recipes. Oh, no. You're pretty damn sure it's within the recipes. But there's all sorts of things. In the what's, the ti- what's the title of the book? Uh, the title. It's not how to serve man, right? <laughs> <laughs> how to serve undead. <laughs> how to serve man. <laughs> um, let's see. That's Where's what I said. Where did I put the title? Damn it. Oh, no. There's some dust on it. How to serve four man. <laughs> uh, one second. I lost my place. Ah, here it is. <clears throat> uh, the title of the book is Knowledge, Perseverance, Power. The key. Perseverance. You success. That's what it is, because we've already done knowledge and power. We were so close. Perseverance. Perseverance. You. Announce perseverance, and suddenly yes. you hear a chime. There, there, there's a there's a red blast from. The- <laughs> it's a disintegration ray. TPK Raldom. I am very proud of this whole bit right there. It was great. It was really good. No, seriously, yeah, for real. That was really good. All right. Um, let's see. Where am I at? Da, 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 the fact da, that we didn't even oh, know just the one that the wizard had two of them. Floors. <laughs> I'm actually just happy you triggered it once at least. Uh, I knew it had something to do with the book, but I just once all three answers have been correctly spoken. Uh, the wall to the north, <laughs> under the riddle, a door-shaped section of the wall slowly vanishes away, the stone simply disappearing. Through the door is another alcove, uh, the same as the previous ones. This one though already has a glowing violet magical pattern on the floor. Anything else of note before we three stooges it into the portal? Aside from what was described earlier, there's nothing else that sticks out. I'm going to just easily let you know that. Okay, I'll go first. All right, Pruden steps through. I'll go right after him. Right. Yeah, we'll right so after. you all... Uh, in a line, go through, disappearing once again, feeling the teleportation. <clears throat> you are all teleported to another alcove, but this time, uh, you can see outside this alcove is a vast chamber. You stand upon a terrace like platform raised high above uh, the lower part of this large chamber. In Coliseum. Walls of yeah, the walls of this chamber are the same as the other chambers, smooth and clearly crafted by magic. The room is about 100 square feet, with the platform that you're standing on about 75 feet from the bottom, which uh, technically you wouldn't know yet, but I'm just giving it all out now. Uh, the platform is 50 feet uh, and forms a half circle centered from the alcove that you are currently at. Along the edge of this platform are guardrails, but there is a large gap at the furthest point from the alcove where about five feet of the platform has no railing. The chamber is well lit. Throughout the large chamber float balls of firelight hovering and bobbing gently. On this platform stand three suits of gleaming armor. The two to the west and east side of the platform each appear to be made of well-crafted steel. The one in the northern point near the railing opening is a slightly larger set of dark ar- uh, set of armor that is made of much darker metal. Hmm. Any is there a, is, yeah, is, is there a, an obvious egress slash descent slash? No, there isn't actually. Uh, although you'd probably have to go further in to take a better look. Right now you're still in the alcove just kind of seeing out. Okay, I was first. I'll, I'll go anti-clockwise. All right, so you, uh, as you get about five feet away from the alcove, um, you see um, 
all three sets of armor raise their helmed heads and begin to move a little bit. Um, along the edge of the platform, a translucent blue energy forms that reaches to the ceiling, closing off the area outside of the platform. The northern suit of armor then declares... One second. Good voice. Well done on passing the second test. Below, B is the great Kilborn's legacy. But before thou mayest pass and gain thy reward, a final test is required. As a show of perseverance, thou must best us guardians in combat. Know if thou faileth, we uh, will kill thee without mercy. If thou so choosest, thou may flee, knowing from whence uh, you came, if thou so fear death. I'm putting the Warhammer away. I'm going to use the adamantine pick for this. All right. So with that. And nothing because I know everything. <laughs> <coughs> with that, uh, we will roll some initiative. Roll an initiative. Thanks, Kyle. Thanks, Kyle. I know I was going to say, I'm like, we need one of those. Uh, I have an 11. I think we should record him doing a lot of little well. song bits. <laughs> I rolled in. Uh, I rolled an eighteen this time. Eighteen, I got nice. Twenty-one. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, I only got eleven again. <laughs> Let me just get that out of the way. Okay, excellent. Um, Kilari, what'd you get? <laughs> eleven. Eleven. Prudence, what'd you get? Same thing. Okay. Uh, Mac, what'd you get? 21. Excellent. And Torgo, what'd you get? 18. 18. Okay, so... Uh, let me just get this in order. So between Kalari and Prudence, who wants to go first? Uh, I rolled a natural eight. Uh, it's up to you guys. Huh? So did you? <laughs> Yeah. Just uh, choose. Uh, uh, what's this is the one where I think I'm going to probably have to be heel bitch. So why don't I go second? Second. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so Mac, you are once again up first. Uh, you have three targets. They are all moving. Uh, let me just give a quick um, assessment of these for you. So the one to the north, the more um, obviously dangerous one, uh, it is made of darker armor. It's insides glowing a deep, like, bloodish red. Uh, it wields, um, what is it wielding? It actually has no weapon. It is just wielding its two fisticuffs. Oh, it's going to beat us. <laughs> oh, wait, I'm looking at the wrong thing. I'm sorry. Uh, the yeah, the armor that's glowing red is actually wielding a long sword. I apologize. What? Long sword? Long sword, yeah. Okay. Um, the other two armors, the ones that are made of steel, uh, do not have a glow about them. They simply move. And they actually do not have weapons. They are using their fisticuffs. <laughs> Um, they both, they all look like the equivalency of plate. Uh, the two um, armors to the east and west look pretty much identical. Uh, they are gleaming steel, well crafted though. The one to the north, larger armor could probably fit like a very large humanoid, like um, not, not like large size, but probably like an eight foot uh, person or something inside there. Uh, the armor has spikes to it. Uh, it just looks a lot more menacing. Uh, so those are your opponents. What would you like to do? Um, I think I'm going to do um, Scorcher. So I, yeah, Agonazar Scorcher on the more dangerous one with the long spurt. 
I, need a uh, deck. Could, I don't know the spell offhand, so could you just describe it to me quickly? Uh, well, sorry, like I said, I don't have my glasses. A uh, line of flames 30 feet by 5 feet wide emanates in the direction of my choice. Um, Dex 30 save of 14 um, on 3d8 fire damage on failed and half on that's if you're not casting there yet. Oh, yeah. As, I'm casting as a level three, so it takes. Um, hey, question. question. Can you get more than one in a line? Uh, currently, from where they're at, no. Um, ah, shucks. Because I think you can do that. I think, yeah, I think you can do that. No, right? actually, uh, yeah, there is a triangle. So if you wanted to like move to one of the edges, so let's see, uh, it's 50 foot in diameter. That's a great. Uh, sure, I'll allow it. You could move. It'll take all your movement. You can go to either the left or right, and uh, target through um, two of the armors, uh, one of the basic and one of the, uh, the big one. Okay, so the basic has no no armor, no wealth, no, no, no weapon, no, weapon. no yeah. weapons. Okay, yeah. so I'm gonna move right. Okay, you're gonna move to the right. All right, and you take you fire stuff. So first, I'll make the save for the big ones since I have that one. And this is fire damage? Yes. Fire damage, okay. <laughs> so it gets a, and you said reflex save? Uh, dexterity. Dex. Dexterity, I'm sorry, dexterity. Uh, it gets a 15. Okay, so that doesn't hit. So, yeah, it's, 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 it's half damage. Okay, and then the other one. Oh, cock. Uh, that'll be a 17. So, so it looks half, like half damage for both. Half damage is better than no damage. So half of 17 is eight. All right. So eight damage to each. <coughs> so eight. Okay. Excellent. Uh, do you want to do any type of bonus action? Now's the time if you want to convert some points or something. Oh, yeah. Um, I'm going to trade in. You got your poker chips. I'm going to trade in three level ones and a, get my third level. All right. Excellent. All right. So that is your turn. Next up is Torga. So yeah, Torga, I wonder what the, I'm getting. Uh, so right now, um, pretty much most of these are <coughs> probably more than one movement away from. Yeah, you. I kind of wonder because I also I'm a dwarf, so my movement's only 25. So I'm gonna make I'm gonna yeah take my moves to get to it. I think that's let's see. Do I have any bonuses? Not really. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna move up to it. Which one are you moving up to? The big guy. Okay. So you're going to move and then spend your action to dash? Yes. Because, okay. yeah. Yeah. All right. So you're now in its face, but unfortunately you can't make an attack this round. Yep. It is menacing. It is It is well-crafted armor uh, as a dwarf. You know, you realize this and <laughs> a little jealous of its uh, crafted, <laughs> but it is a menacing and you just see this red light uh, coming from it. It's, you almost see like a Almost like it, a vapor pouring out of the crevices of the armor and the helmet. You said it's black armor? It's like black armor. Does it look like the Warhammer? I mean, the No, pick? it is not the same material. Okay, so it's just kind of colored. Yes. All right, so that is your turn. Yeah. It is now the big armor's turn. Yeah, that's unfortunate. I wish I could have hit it. So the big armor begins to lift off the ground in front of you. What? And floats about... Five-ish feet, just ahead, of, just above you. Is it and then stay? Takes two, and, and it just floats there as it takes two swings with its wicked-looking <coughs> long sword at you. It is still with within my. It's it still. My it's just getting range. off the ground. That's what. Okay. It's it's awesome like that. <laughs> All right. Like so uh, it makes two weapons attacks against you. Ooh. Hmm. So uh -oh. that's going to be a uh, 
24 for the first hit and a 21 for the second hit. This is going to hurt. Yeah, that's Very it. Very possibly. Both. Very possibly. And it is using two hands. Uh, yeah. D10. I'm going to lose so that. I'm just going to roll this. Uh, I'm going to roll it six. separately just in case there's anything that needs to be separated. Oh, uh, on the bright side, it's not horrible. Uh, so the <laughs> first one is going to be five damage. And okay. The second one is going to be nine damage. So that's 14 total. Yes. All right, that's not awful. That is the large armor's turn. It is now Kalari. All right. Uh, how far away from me are they again? And how close are they um, together? So the big armor would be about 50 feet away. Uh, yeah, they're each about 50 feet away in three different directions, making basically a triangle. So, you know, basically at the edges of the platform in different spots. So from where you're currently at, you're pretty much 50 feet from each one. And they're roughly 45, 50 feet from each other currently. All right. Not close enough for fairy fire then. Um... Did you? I guess I will look at. Oh, God, so many options now. <laughs> I will okay. move 30 feet towards the large armor. And. So you're going right up the center? Right up the center. I think I'll cast Cause Fear on him. Cause Fear, okay. So, uh, is that a ma is that a save? It's a wisdom save of thirteen. All right, you cast your spell, and it has no effect. They don't have it. Not good. I don't think it has a mind. That's me oh, saying that it, not no Torga. Effect. That's me saying it, not Torga. Is there anything else you'd like to do for this round? I'm assuming for your bonus action. A uh, bonus action. Can I cast two first level spells in the same round or not? No, I think it's one level no. first and then one cantrip. Yeah. All right. Or other ability I've got that's based else off to do bonus. Then. Okay. All righty. Yeah, so uh, then, you are a bit shocked as you cast this spell and you've seen it work many times, but this armor appears to be completely unaffected. How far away did you end from it? He would be about 20 feet away from it. Okay. All right. It is now Prudence's turn. I'm going up. to. So now, can I get a straight shot to it? Since I've uh, since I've pretty much since straight I've, away since, from you. Since I've effectively cornered the room, it's a movement away. Uh, from you're. It. This started basically just you coming five feet out of the room, so you're still right near the alcove. So I, I would have to dash to get to it. Yes. Don't you're about forty-five do that. feet away from it. Huh? You're about forty-five feet away from it. Oh, actually, that's all I really need. I just need to get within, I need to use 30 feet of movement. And then I'm going to cast. Uh, and now, do I need a roll to see if these are undead? If this is uh, like. Yes, a, you would have to if, identify if, it to see if these were undead or something. Okay, else. that's going to be my action is to try and determine exactly what type of energy is. All right, uh, go ahead and these. roll an arcane check, and I'll just kind of. Arcana or insight? Okay. Arcana. Okay. Knowledge. Uh, that's shitty. Five. Oh. Um, yeah, you're not sure. They might be undead, but you're it, not really sure. The glow the glowing spirits don't tell me. But okay, so I end fifteen feet away, but with my bonus action, since I didn't fucking do anything. Torga has a sanctuary. Okay. Uh, but uh, don't I break... You bring sanctuary if you attack anything. I'm going to attack, so... But I have... Well... You, you, know, know, no, you would know you that. Know you know me. Me. I, I'm going to say that you would realize no, that. You'd actually do... Before. You know we know each other. You know so that... So Kalari, Kalari has a sanctuary because Kalari has dashed. All right. So you, were just, so you end right. your turn just in front of Kalari. You're about to cast it on Torga, but like, nah, she's going to try to beat up on this thing. Yep. And Absolutely. then turn to cast it on Kalari. And what does the sanctuary give me? 
Uh, now it has to make a wisdom 15 save to attack you. Or any of them. All right. Any Anything does until you make an aggressive action. Oof. All righty. But yeah, at least it but at least it'll serve you through big guys next round. At turn. least this round. <laughs> yeah. All right. So with that, it is now the two other steel armors. So the armor uh, just for our clarification, steel armor A is right next to Mac right now. You basically ran over basically right next to it and blasted through it. So it is going to make an attack on you since it doesn't really have to move at this point. Uh, actually, I'm sorry. It makes two attacks on you. What? Yep. You said, what? Again, I chose some nasty stuff. This is the this is the killer fight. Well, they're both kind of. So the fight. first attack is going to be a 14 to hit you. It misses. It misses. Yeah. And that means the second attack also misses. Yes. So it tries to pummel you with its <coughs> iron uh, gauntlets, but you're able to just dodge out of the way and. Dodge and weave, you know, little box. You know, you know, you know the five. D, you know the five Ds. <laughs> <laughs> so that is pretty much its action. Is it just tries to pummel the heck out of you? It doesn't need to move or anything. It just wants to beat you up. Um, the other armor, uh, since everyone's moved away from the alcove, uh, the closest individual will technically be Kalari. Now it's moving at an angle, yes. you're thirty feet away, so it can reach you. And it will attempt mm -hmm. to attack you. So it needs to make a wisdom save. 15. 15. That is an eight. It fails to attack you. Yes. Well, I think I think Ooh. it can pick a new victim. Yeah, it, no, it, no on a failed save, the, the creature must choose a new target or lose the attack. Can it get a second target? We're not really close to it. It cannot other. technically get us. Let's see, it's movement. No, it cannot get uh, close enough to you, Prudence. It right. basically used all its move just to get to close. Yeah, because I had because that, that that's <laughs> a oh. same sanctuary's thirty foot range. So, all right. So no, that worked. Uh, that is its turn. It is now top of the round. Mac, you are up. There is a steel uh, armored plate in front of you, trying to pummel you. Uh, I'm gonna uh, dual weld daggers. All right, whooping out the daggers. Rolling for the daggers. The first one was a 17 to hit. 17 will actually miss. Ooh. God, you made things higher hard to hit. I didn't make anything. I took these directly out of the book. No modification. Oh, yeah, oh God damn it. I just chose Meta wise, <laughs> I think I know what these are. <laughs> They're a pain in the butt. Dirty to hit, but... <laughs> oh, excellent. A dirty 20 will definitely hit this thing. I won't be using, well, so much for great weapon master. <laughs> <laughs> With a six. With a six damage. All right. Excellent. Piercing. 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 That is <coughs> perfectly acceptable. The piercing damage punctures the armor, denting it and causing damage to it. Excellent. Uh, Mac, is there anything else you'd like to do? That is your action. You have a move and a bonus still. You, If you have a bonus spell, you can also cast a bonus spell, Mac, as you attack. Um, I'm not sure if I know. Would that be my breath as... You can touch it, and it'll show up, and it says one action. No, I don't. Okay. Uh, then your turn <clears throat> is done, and is now Torga. This... Menacing armor is now floating above you. All right, I'm gonna make the blood two. on its blade. Oh, I'm gonna make two attacks against it. Oh, that second one's not great. Uh, the first one's not great. That's a 18. 18. Let me get to it. 18 will miss. I don't want to blow it so easy. That action surge. Okay. Action and the surge. highest thing I friggin' rolled was an 11. Oh, that, oh, oh, oh that's yeah, a crit. Fuck you. That's a crit. And that <laughs> is uh, for the second attack. And what weapon are you using? The adamantine war pick. Okay. Uh, because I figure I might need it against suits of armor. So that is a 23 on the second attack. That will hit. 
All right. Unfortunately, this is not versatile, which I kind of miss. Uh, but that is going to be 3d8 plus 8. Uh, 3, 8, 13, 8, 21 points of damage. 21 points of damage. Excellent. <coughs> Piercing. Very good hit. Well, that made up for the friggin' two So you puncture a deep hole inside the breastplate. As you pull back, you see kind of the <coughs> red, like, red mist pour out of it. And it doesn't make the a red, sound. The red mist. Yeah, it doesn't make a sound. It doesn't even seem to feel the pain from it. Uh, I think that's it really, that's going to be it anyways for me, I think. All right. So that is the end of Torga's turn. It is now, it's rebuttal. Yep. The thing I should, should be by, able to take floats, a uh, little bobbing points. around you as it takes two swipes with its wicked long sword at you. Judging from what I took last time, I should at least be able to stand um, a couple more hits. So it's going to be. Am I on the right one? Nope. There we go. Um, that. So that's going to be a 19 and yeah. then a 18 to hit you. Not as good the last time, but yeah, you hit me fucking both times. Right. So this time, oh, okay. It does 10 damage each time. A total That's of 20. 20. Okay. So it slashes into you, soaking its blade more uh, with more of its more of your oh, blood. That freaking kind of hurt. Okay. All right. And that is its turn. I'm it still is now Kalari. I'm turn. still standing after all these years. Oh, my favorite Charm, uh, internet singer Charm. Her, I love her uh, I'm Still Standing Wow parody song for Tanks. <laughs> I also do that's enjoy me. just straight up Elton John, but that's there mine. Okay. All right. So, <laughs> uh, Kalari, right. it is your turn. You have Sanctuary on you. If you attack, you will break it, but, you know, you're in a combat, so. Did pay off. Yeah. It, served, it served its purpose. It definitely did. Very true. That was, yeah, that was it great. Did. And alas, I have nothing that's not attack wise, so I guess I'll be going at it. I'm going to start with a bonus action to cast Ensnaring Strike upon myself. So if the next time I hit, they'll have to make a strength saving throw. And then for my action, I'm going to use Green Flame Blade. Uh, once again, <laughs> drive my spear in fire and thrust forward at the armor that is attacking me. That spell is nasty. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's a very oh, good yeah. spell. It's awesome. Oh, yeah. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. Uh, 20. Dirty 20. 20 will hit. You finally strike true right. with your gl uh, green uh, flame <coughs> spell. Don't that make your brown eye blue? Aww. <laughs> Alrighty. So, uh, green flame blade is 1d8, 1d8 for my spear, 1d8 for the. Or not, not d8, it's d6. Alright, green flame blade, 1d6, 1d6 for my spear, 1d6 for an strike. And I'm going to use my uh, Gathered Swarm to apply another 1d6 to it. Okay. So let's see how much damage this does. Jack. <laughs> uh, seven ah. points. <laughs> seven points total. I got two ones. All that. Ouch. Seven points total. Ouch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And so your 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 strike you strike true, but you're basically just it, it, you're attacking <clears throat> armor, and as you like pierce into it, you don't feel anything past the armor itself. So you're like, oh, the damage was only kind of superficial because it's only skin deep. <laughs> yeah, and the ensnaring strike they have to make a strength saving throw or be restrained. Uh, so that is going to be a fourteen and thirteen. All right, so it is able to. Uh, I'm assuming. It, what, what is your snare? Is it like uh, plants or something else? I'm just using some blood that seeps up from the ground. So the blood 
comes up from the ground and attaches uh, a blood-like chains upon its body as it looks at it and then just whoosh, breaks it like it doesn't even care that this is Hey, is it my blood as it runs off me and just towards him or something? Sure, it's torn his blood. Please, whatever blood is handy, darling. <laughs> All right, so uh, it is now pro- uh, is that your action? I'm assuming so. <laughs> That's everything I can do for now. All right, prudence, does it, does a up. 19 hit? Does a 19 hit? 19 hit oh. against the, the big one. Yeah. The big one? What are you doing on it? Does a 19 hit? No. <gasps> oh shit. Yeah. These guys suck. Oh, I get to I get to see the deflation there. <laughs> I just wasted I just wasted a 38 damage in flip wounds. Mm. But now I'm now I'm all up in its grill. Oh, damn right. it, I wish so you're it. now you have moved up to it. You attempt to I'm assuming touch it. Correct. And um, it just mo- it moves its uh, floating leg out of the way as it looks at you. <laughs> yep. Damn it. All right. That's sure what it does. <laughs> That's okay, is sure that what just happened. Cool. Cool. So now it is the cool. steel armor's turn. So the first one. We'll attempt to pummel Mac again twice. No. Um, Come on, miss again. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's going to. Uh, let's see. What is, uh, does a <laughs> 15 hit your AC Mac? Yeah, 15 okay. hits. So one uh, will hit. The other one is oh, much no, lower. 15 is my AC. Okay. That hits. So it yeah. just hits. Uh, it rolled a two, so that's much lower on the other one. So that doesn't do any damage. So uh, it's rolling... So, Mac, you will take a total of five bludgeoning damage as it just smacks into you hard. Now you taste blood in your mouth. You see a little bit dripping down. I'm going to... Uh, it's not not yet, oh, but, oh, but soon. Uh, first, the other armor goes, and it is going to attempt to hit... Uh, Kalari, now that uh, the sanctuary is broken. Two attack. Hmm. Uh, so does a 18 hit you? It does. All right. And I'm going <laughs> to guess a 10 misses you for the second attack. A 10 misses, yes. So, while, you're, while your spear is still technically in its armor, it literally just kind of just moves a little forward, the spear deeping in a little bit, and just smacks you uh, right across the jaw. Four, ooh, total of seven damage. Uh, and that is its turn, and it does not move. It seems to just want us to beat the hell out of you guys. With that, it is now Max's turn. I'm still seething. I'll bet. <laughs> hey, you're trying to steal my fun. So I'm gonna double dagger again. Sixteen misses. 16 against against miss. the against that one, yeah. The unarmed one, yeah. They both miss. Okay, so <coughs> once again, you try to uh, slash and stab this, but the armor is thick and it is tough. Uh, your daggers scrape across its me- metal plates. Uh, is there anything else you'd like to do? Uh, I think that's all I got. Okay. Uh, so then it is now Torga's turn. All right. Uh, Torga, you are blooded. Yeah. Slashes across your upper body. Mm-hmm. Like one right across your cheek. All the, mo- all the more reason why I'm seething. She looks like, though, she's in her glory. I mean, this is this is what she lives for. All right, I'll make two attacks first. Uh, well, the three is going to miss, but the 16 plus seven is going to be a 23, which will hit. That will hit. And I will roll. This is not going to be impressive. Oh, that's really not impressive. That's uh, seven <coughs> points of damage, and I'm using my bonus action to uh, heal myself. I'm doing second wind. All righty. 10 plus five. Really? It's only 1d10? I thought it'd be more at this point. Man, you just want everything to be broken, huh? <laughs> yeah, that's all right. I'll take it. All right, so that is that's ten points back. All righty, uh, is that your turn? That will be my turn. I'm not going okay. anywhere. Excellent. Uh, it is now the horror's <laughs> turn again. 
Uh, since Prudence did not injure it, it is ignoring you. Yeah, I know. And it goes against uh, to, uh, uh, Torga again. I have a Two chance attacks. of not falling because I did that. So the first attack is a 16. That misses, fucker! Okay. So you're able to dodge away the first attack. Follow-up 24 will certainly hit. Uh, Yeah. No, it's too high. It's gone past that point. Now it impales me. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, That is going to be a total of uh, 12 slashing damage. Oh, God. That's like... I'm glad you so didn't all do that. that second wind just uh, decided oh, to go bye bye. Sh- yeah, that was that that and then some. Uh, at this point, you're looking cut and bruised. And oh yeah. Uh, you're, oh. You're, you're, it's it's starting to get hard to tell where the cuts begin uh, from all the blood that's starting to come down and pool around. Using my perseverance. And, and too bad I don't have. Yeah, that I use my perseverance. That was my uh, heal. Yeah, all right. Healing. So uh, next up. That's all of its turn. Kalari, you're up again. <coughs> all right. After I lost my temporary hit points for that, <laughs> I'm going to use a bonus action to pull on my Foam of Dread, which gives me 1d10 plus 2 temporary hit points, <laughs> among other things, which I'll, which I'll get to that if it happens. Is that an action or a bonus action? It's a bonus action. All right. And that's a 10, so 12 temporary hit points. Okay. <laughs> yeah, if I can type this. There we go. And then I will use my action again to uh, cast Green Flame Blade and try to strike, this, strike the man again. Okay. All right, let's see what I get. Ugh. 16. 16. So you pull out the spear and go again, but this time it kind of moves a little bit and the spear just slides across the armor. The blade, the blade and the flames harmlessly hurting, uh, going past it. Now you know why this is a fight for perseverance. Oh, yeah. man. <laughs> okay. Uh, that is Kalari's yeah, turn. That's all I can do. Prudence. I need a wisdom 15 save. What is what are you casting? I need a wisdom 15 save. So it probably doesn't make it, so let me know what you're casting. Command. I'm commanding it to yield. It only doesn't affect undead. Uh I'm looking at the right one. Let me just Oh. Um so it is a spell. So it has advantage Correct. on the save. So the second roll I did was a 20 on the die. Uh, uh, is this a charm effect? It is not. It is not. Interesting. Okay. So uh, unfortunately, it does make the save. Even though it's not a charm effect. No, I was just seeing if it was immune. <laughs> okay. No, no, no. But uh, no, no, I, 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 it rolled a total of 20 for its save. Yeah, no, it was a spell. It because it's I kind of figured it was a spell, but it was only unaffected against undead. Yeah. It made a, uh, it rolled a seven and a twenty on the die for its save. Yeah, no, no, I'm hearing you, but yeah, no. <coughs> okay. uh, but as my bonus action, can I? Well, no, I don't have fast hands, so I can't do much else. I love that ability for rogues. I'm sorry, I like the, the um, archetype. You have healing, right? I do, but it's all going to be... That was a spell. Oh, a healing shit. word? Yeah, no. no yeah, because I'm like, I, I would love to be able to get a healing word off, but... Well, healing word is a bonus action. But we, but that's also two a spell. Command, command is a spell. Yeah, you can't do two spells in one yeah. round. Oh, because it's the first level. Yeah, yeah. First it's, level. Not a can, it's not a cantrip. Yeah. Okay. Uh, but, so, but if I can get a cantrip... You can get a cantrip. Uh, or am I thinking of the rules incorrectly? I want to. That's fine. I don't have. That's fine. I don't have a bonus action cantrip. Never mind. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, uh, generally, I think it's cantrip then bonus action, higher level yeah. spell yeah. is usually what it is. Yes, that's that's what the rule is. All the right. So, our, uh, steel armors again. First one on Mac again. Two attacks. It, it oh, just tries to keep pummeling you. Ooh. Uh, so that's gonna be a. 
21 to hit and a 16 to hit. Both of those will hit. Okay. So you're going to take uh, four and eight points of damage. So a total of 12 damage with both attacks. <coughs> I'm getting pretty banged up. It's a fight. Yes, it is. Mm-hmm. All right. And then the second piece of armor on we can Talari. Do this. We can do this. This is rated as a hard fight, obviously. Yeah. Uh, actually, yeah. I think uh, both of these are going to miss. Uh, the high roll was um, only a 11. So both yep, of its both attacks miss. miss on Kalari. And you do have a healing potion. Those are the armor's turns. Yes, yes, you guys you, do have healing potions. I'm, yeah, you have healing potion. Healing potion. Yeah. Uh, I do, I'm sorry, I slipped mine in in the hallway. On the... Oh, earlier? Took, no, that's I fine. Took, yeah. I'll allow that. I'll yeah, allow that. While that's we are moving through the... Yeah. Perfectly acceptable. Yeah, um, so, yeah, I don't have. So now it is Mac's turn. Mac, <laughs> it's it's taking its toll on you. It doesn't look good. Your first attack and your other attack has done some good damage to it. The armor can, can, can I ask a question while he's doing his thing? How far are all of these things from each other now? Uh, so the armor that Mac is fighting is the furthest from... The groups. Uh, that's but, still but, 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 much I, but I'm group. saying like like as a as a point from the big the big black armor. So from the big black armor, um, the one that's on Mac and Mac himself are about 45 feet away. Okay, so spirit uh, guardians. A, so spirit guardians isn't going to catch all of them if I recast uh, it. Okay. The one that is on Kalari with Kalari is about 25 feet away. Okay. From that's, the that's armor, I, from you would be about 20 about. feet away. Okay. Because that's only 15 foot. All right. So, what would you like to first, do, Mac? Uh, double dagger. The first one hits with a 23, and the Excellent. second one misses with an 8. All right. Roll uh, damage. <laughs> uh, four. Four damage. All right. Excellent. You are chipping it away. It's uh, looking dinged up a little bit more, but it's still got juice. All righty. Uh, is there anything else you'd like to do? I figure that's your bonus. That's attack, it. Yeah, right? for some. Yeah. Okay, is, Torga. Is the last game. You know, I would take that healing potion if I thought it would do <laughs> enough, but I don't think it's going to do enough. I'm pretty convinced I'm going to drop it unless unless it turns its attacks on to Prudence. I'm going to drop this round. Oh my god! However, I did roll a nat twenty. Excellent. Sadly, I rolled an 18 and not a 19, because that would have been two crits. Mm. But uh, that's a crit and a hit. All right. Roll so that that's damage. 3D. Roll that. Let's, let's roll that beautiful bean footage. <laughs> yeah, I, w- I did think about that, too. <laughs> uh, I love the Bush's Baked Beans ooh, version. <laughs> All right, so 17 on the die plus on the dice plus 8 is 25 points of damage. 25? Yeah. Oh. Please tell With me. That, dr- Please tell me. Tell me how you want to do this. Yeah! I know, I'm, I know I'm ripping off Critical Role. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Right. But hey, I, if, right. if, if we're nothing, we're cheese balls. Take just a, just don't Take sue it. me. Don't sue me. <laughs> That's okay. That's okay, DJ. I've already done it on the show, so don't All right. worry. Sue them then. Sue them. <laughs> All right. So. Or, or, or at least her. <laughs> yes, it, her maybe, yeah. So, unfortunately, this is a, I can't reach like the really cool parts to blow it up. Let's say, you know, because this is Murder Hobo Inc., she gets it Describe right. Describe how in. you want it. She's going to hit it like right through the crotch region. All right. She hit it twice, and the second time will go right through. I, I was thinking part. Grundle too. So, that's. So, <laughs> you uh, crack it right in what would be the uh, 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 pelvic guard area. It's got a little bit of a like taint. A it's called it. the taint. Yeah, right the taint. <laughs> well, it doesn't really have a taint piece of armor, to be honest. But you you strike it right where its <laughs> giblies would be. I needed that. Uh, and it just goes deep and just gouges through the armor heavy. Then you pull back, come again, and this time as you rip deep into it, you just pull down hard with all your dwarven might and weight. And you literally just tear out a huge section of the whole front. Of the Eldritch Grundle. As the uh, uh, helmed horror 
drops to the ground on both knees, its arms down, its sword clanking mm. down, and its head low. You have defeated the Helm Tor. Yeah! There are still two opponents, though. <laughs> I know, so I'm going to take my move, since I can do that, <coughs> and I think I'll go... You can get to the one that's on Kalari. And I'll get to the one that's on Kalari. I figured that's, that's pretty probably much your a full good move one. right there, since you're at 25. Probably not a bad one to go help. All right, and I believe Either that's your one. full action, right? That is my full action. Okay. I don't have any Excellent. bonuses. Kalari, <laughs> you are up. You now have a friend next to you. Can it be cross? All right. Uh, he can move I, across, or Kalari can move. In I flanking. would certainly make sure. Yeah, so sort of flank. <laughs> I would certainly make sure to flank. Um, move around that way, and I guess since the big guy's out of the way, I will cast Hunter's Mark on the one I'm facing right now. At, oh, wait, no, that's, yeah, that's a bonus action. Okay. Did, did so you cast Hunter's, Hunter's Mark, Mark on, on the other one? Because it's to just move. No, Did he have, didn't. No, I didn't oh, think he okay, cast. Okay, not okay. in this round. Yeah, yeah, I didn't cast it yet. Yeah, I've only done Hunter's Mark uh, on the okay. Gorgon so Gorgon. far. Yeah. Been trying other stuff on this guy. So, <laughs> Hunter's Mark. Yay. And do, 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 do. I guess I'll do my standard combo. Uh, green Flame Blade. Try to strike it again. Got right, roll advantage. with that advantage. Are you kidding me? No. A one and a seven. Ah! So, yeah, yeah, that's that's a no. That's you a no. move around its side, but unfortunately, you just you, as you're twisting and twirling about, you kind of lose your <laughs> footing and you don't get the best thrust. So unfortunately, at you. At least I still have that hunter's mark. Yeah. All right, so it is now Prudence's turn. Seeing that, what I want to come up and do is I want to. Pull down my quarter staff and mech this thing like it was a naughty, naughty nanny. <laughs> so you're gonna move over to the same uh, armor that, to the uh, same to the same, and because we're flanking, I have advantage, correct? Uh, sure. I mean, there's there's. I'm like because because now, now yeah. flurry flurries. Yeah, that's fine. Brown eye. I'm yeah. go go for it. It's an 18 hit. 18 does mm. hit exactly. Yes. Hmm? Okay, I do. Three bludgeoning, <laughs> which I'm right. sure is whoop whoop. Uh, you put a dent in it. Um, Poing. Probably not the most damage, but you yeah, did something. But, but but as my bonus action, I whisper over into Torga's ear and say, "Pussy weathers." I'm not near you now. I'm over. No with no no. No, I, you I, are, I you no. Are. She is right oh, next to you now. Oh, I <laughs> suited. What'd you and, say? And say and say, "Pussy willows," and that's my healing word. <laughs> So you take oh, back. Yeah, I think you get a little healed, but probably left a little confused. <laughs> so no. you take, but you take back ten. All right. Nice. Excellent. Yep, I need that. <laughs> All righty. Uh, yeah, well, remember, she, we know each other, so it's yep. just shenanigans happened before. So at Ooh. least it wasn't. Uh, clit at least it wasn't clit me. <laughs> so uh, the, the safe word. Is other the armor. Safe word? Uh, no, the safe word is Mac. pineapple. The safe word is pineapple. <laughs> The other armor that's on Mac makes uh, his two attacks. Uh, the first one is going to miss, but the second attack is going to be 22, which will hit. Mm -hmm. So Mac, you're going to take another, oh, only three points of damage. It, it barely clipped you this time. But uh, it's starting to bruise you up a little bit. Uh, you're, 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 you're getting a little bit of swelling on the side of your face and such. Uh, Just got your wisdom teeth removed. <laughs> uh, and now it is the second piece of armor. It is going to stay on Kalari. Uh, not exactly. Because I haven't done moment. diddly oh, squat so into it yet. Please. Bring it on. Uh, I think it's going to miss both me. attacks. Um, a 15, does that hit Kalari? You said a 15 <laughs> is my armor class. So All right, so it just barely okay. hits you, as this one's going to smack you Ooh, uh, for seven points of damage as it comes up with like a, uh, a haymaker and catches you on the shoulder and then a bit on the neck. And I still have my form of dread up. <laughs> All right, so that is the armor's term. It is now Mac. Mac, you have been soloing this thing, Come standing on, your standing your own. So you I'm gonna it. I'm gonna cast a third level scorcher. Okay. It needs a deck save of fourteen. 
Uh, 14 right on the die. You it has no bonuses. So it just made it. How dare you, you dick? It's I don't, second I don't game. control the dice. It's his second game. Cut him a goddamn fucking break. No, nope, I play. I play by it. Oh, yeah. The DJ dice uh, play, play, give play, his play, life and take lies. his life. <laughs> play it where it lies. Just, right. but just, just for, but now also just for how far is X from Y? Um, Are they in a line? You're, about, that's like about 30-ish feet from each other. Okay. But but there's also like a human shield blocking him. You can make a. It. I will say, um, you know what? I'll I'll sure? steal one of his things. Roll me a d. Tw- uh, roll me a d12. Well, d12. If uh, you can form a line without a, a friendly being inside of it. But it's that it's the, it, no, uh, it's Does he usually go with the higher is uh, is yeah. more favorable? Yes, higher is always favorable. Eight. I got a four. Oh, there's yeah. a line that you can form. Oh. <laughs> what is this? So, <laughs> so you're gonna hit both of them. So the oh, other one makes will another save. Yeah, the other one's making. So one will fail. Full damage. full damage. Yeah. So you roll. Yeah, one's gonna take full, and one's do gonna take it, half. Do it. Do it. I assume ours is. Come on, Mac. Take, take them both down. Show up, all these guys. <laughs> eleven. <laughs> oh, eleven total. Eleven. Total, points. So 11. eleven and five. All right. So they are both still up. Actually, ah. But That's all right. That the, was great. But they're at the bottom of the order. Mm-hmm. Yes, they are. Uh, <coughs> next. Let me just, uh, okay. And by the way, we are at 10, 10 20. Yeah, yeah we know. We know. So that's so that's, that's, that's all on you guys. So, so, that's, you guys. so that's all your fault. Yeah. Yes, it is. <laughs> if it wasn't exactly okay. on time, it's all your fault. Uh, sorry, everybody. Uh, to, uh, to the last one, I, the last one I ran went for three and a half hours. Ooh. Okay, Kyle, so, and he's not Kyle. It is so. now Torga's turn. Torga, come on, let's get let's get uh, this done. Come on, Torga. All right, so two attacks. Um, I guess this thing. I'm well, let's do one attack first. There you go. All right, I was yeah. All right, fine. Uh, that's gonna miss because that's a three. Okay, oh wait, well, advantage, advantage, advantage. It is an advantage. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's not great either. That's a thirteen. Thirteen will miss. So go ahead and make that second attack. Yeah, I'm not surprised. Uh, but um, an eighteen hits these guys, right? It does. All right, so I do hit on the second attack for crap damage. So that is a uh, six points of damage. You are able to leave a huge mark through this armor. A that six armor point huge also mark. drops. And this one actually, uh, all the pieces of armor actually kind of scatter uh, apart. <coughs> oh, interesting. As opposed so this one to just the- kinda em- just, Yeah, this one just kind of falls apart in empty bits. Then I go but- running for the other one. The other one though does, is relatively intact. Yes, it is actually just kind of kneeling and all completely <laughs> on the ground right now. Oh, it stopped. Yeah, it's just completely on the ground. It listened to my. It listened to my command. <laughs> Apparently. All right, so um, that is now. That was Torga, Kalari. Uh, so Kalari, your target is dead, or defeated, I should say. Huzzah! I will use my bonus action to move the hunter's mark over to the other one. Excellent. And, and... you should be able to get to it, I believe. Yeah, and I guess I'll run over to it. Is there a way I can position myself once again to get flank? Yep, you can get right on the opposite side of Mac. All right, let's see if I hit him this time. Once again, green flame blade. (laughs) (laughs) It's not in your favor. Hey, at least you're not in the hunting no, game right not. now, because you would be like chosen four or five times. Hey, you know why we went long? The dice. The dice are the reason why we went long. <laughs> All right. So unfortunately, dead by now. Your, uh, your, your <coughs> fancy strikes once again slide off the armor. God damn. And don't. Prudence, you're up. I am going to do much similar <laughs> and dash over there. And once again, my habit forms around my armor. I look like the penguin from Blues Brothers. <laughs> my arm yes. just turns into a full-blown ruler, and I backhand it because an 18 connects. All right, <coughs> 18 will hit. So awesome. For nine necrotic inflect wounds. 
Okay, excellent. Necrotic will hurt this thing. So you said nine? Correct. Okay. Uh, so but is that is still my up. action, and I have no additional bonus, so that's my turn. Okay. It's its turn again. <laughs> Who's it picking on? We're all around uh, it now. It's going to go after Mac. It's it's kind of a one target, one kill type thing. Oh, dick. So two attacks on Mac. Oh, both miss. Awesome. Max was a 10. So it's starting to get damaged. It's uh, it's its movements are getting jarred by the other people uh, attacking it and such. And it just misses and swings both attacks. Mac, you are up. You have advantage. It's, it's, on... knuckles, are, it's knuckles are being wrapped. Yeah. It, <laughs> Uh, uh, cracks oh. form from the necrotic up. You get uh, advantage on both your attacks. <laughs> oh, it did hit a one. Okay. So, sh should I should, melee? Should, should or... you be inclined to melee, you would get advantage. There's what kind of advantage? It means you roll, tw you roll twice, take the higher of two. Yeah. Okay. And that <laughs> happens for both attacks if you do. Yeah. Should you be so inclined? Yes. That's what I'm doing. You're double daggering again. Double daggering. Okay. Double double daggering, Carol. A Sixteen on one. So I'm gonna roll this four times. You're gonna roll it tw twice, and then whichever's higher. Okay. So that one. And then roll it twice again, whichever's higher. Uh, twenty-three on second. What was the so first that's the one? second roll, right? Six, 16 and 5. Okay, so, so 16. Was that on the die? <coughs> no, that no, was 16 total. 16 okay, total. So the first one misses, then it, it sounds yeah. like. And then I get a 23, you're, you're 23 and, tw yes. and a 25. But you're 23. Right. So the yes. 25 will hit. So go ahead and deal damage once. About time. That one took a, a crit 10 piercing. 10. So, as you stab into it, your first one misses, but this time you're able to get it right through the helmet, and you literally just rip the helmet off of the thing as it, you know, moves for a second, and then you just see the bits of armor fall apart. You have successfully defeated the steel armor, uh, the animated armor. <clears throat> so, with that, I'm going to just go through the closing since you have gotten to the end. Uh, you then suddenly see the large armor kind of lift up its head. And I knew I should have decapitated speaks. this. Well, it speaks. Thou art victorious. Thou hast proven thy, uh, thou, uh, thou uh, power, knowledge, and perseverance. All qualities that my master valued above all else. Whether thy intentions are for good or ill, the great Kilborn's legacy is thine. Mayest thou use it well. With that, the armor falls and their magic fades. So the large armor now falls apart. The wall of force that was surrounding the platform disperses. And with a deep hum, uh, humming sound, a magical floating 10-foot cylinder platform rises from below to meet the edge of the terrace. As you all gather on, the floating cylinder goes down to the main chamber floor where you can bask in your prize. And I'll just go through this quickly because I like a little extra on top of everything. This is the icing. At the bottom of the chamber, a wide open area, area with multiple magic circles formed into the floor. Some of the circles are crafted with iron, other silver and gold. Another is formed from dry blood that has mostly faded with time. Closer to the edges of the chamber, various tables hold all manner of equipment, laboratory devices, jars filled with strange and curious contents, boxes and bookses, and much more. Along the walls itself of the chamber, large bookshelves take up much of the space. Most of this is filled with striking oddities. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, I... Skip the line. Most of this is filled with books after book, but other objects also occupy sections of the shelf as well. Some of the more striking oddities are several books that stand four foot in height and about two foot thick. 
The Ow. book's filled with stone pages. A section of the shelf completely filled with the pu- uh, puzzled together skeletons of various humanoid races, all inside glass display cases and labeled. Also, there is a weapon rack displaying various mm. shining and beautiful looking weapons and staffs. But the most eye-drawing part of the chamber is a raised section to the north. At the top of this wide raised area is a <coughs> large dark wood desk, much of it adorned with different objects and books. A high back chair with it, uh, just uh, on the opposite side of where you're at. And uh, rock me on the dais. W- within the chair is a slumped form draped in its still. A little behind the desk and chair is a large, round, circular structure or device. Arcane runes etched all around its surface. And just above all of this, a massive hanging skeleton of a dragon oversees all of it. In the chair, here rests the remains of Kilborn the Powerful. Though it is unclear how he died, his remains are slumped in the high back chair. All that remains is a skeleton clothed in what he died in. Well made deep velvet robes trimmed in gold and silver with arcane symbols. A few odd looking magic rings and a staff still gripped in his right hand. He wishes he still had his late night talk show. You adventurers (laughs) have found Kilborn the Powerful, who died alone and mostly forgotten to time. You have completed this adventure, and with it, probably a ton of uh, items, wealth, and such. I want to taste every jar. Uh, that's going to take you a while, to be honest, and you probably end up dying from it. <laughs> See, hey, I did Frank, kill somebody. <laughs> hey, Frank, I want to use, I want it like my pick of items here, and I want to use them in all my future games. So I was, I was going to say, I'm like, can I cast identify <laughs> magic? Uh, it's going to take you forever. Uh, well, no, no, no. It's just going to be a plethora. Oh, oh, oh. you're just going to cast it. Ident- yeah, you basically just go blind from it all. Yeah. Uh, it's like ah. Oh! <laughs> So uh, with that, I'd like to thank everyone who decided to actually watch this uh, for staying with us and watching to the end. I and hope you enjoyed the we'll adventure. watch it. Uh, this was mm-hmm. all written by me, and uh, it was some of it was Great edited job. by Carol's husband, uh, who did a fantastic job helping me. His out. name is Joe. Uh, okay, awesome. just making sure I don't like to give out names if I don't have to. Nah, be it's fine. Um, yes, I, I'm actually quite proud of the riddles myself, and uh, Those are the great. book title. Uh, I. I was actually quite proud of that and picking out my uh tough monsters i think every uh encounter fit the description pretty well so i am hey, very pleased with it do you want me to close this up with the usual oh, right scale? Ahead. okay so for, first of all so that was your final thought so usually we always do final thoughts uh let's see how about our our, our newest person alan would you think i have the right name or what'd you think uh did you enjoy it do you want to yeah. come back I would certainly be interested in coming back. Uh, did enjoy it, though. Out of my what six attacks, I only hit twice. <laughs> <laughs> that was yeah. your dice, though. So yeah. Next was your time, dice. I've, I've, I've yeah. had a character like that. <laughs> I've had a character like that. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay, Ashton. Any final thoughts? Um, it was good. It was my first time playing. Well, it's my first time playing with a lot of other people. Um, with a sorcerer. So I really haven't had a lot of practice with spells and not just meleeing. So it was nope. good. You know what? It, it's a bit of a brave soul that can uh, tackle into magic that soon into it, to be honest. Yeah. Well, we, we've been, we, have, we have been practicing at home one-on-one. So yeah. excellent. All right, Blake. How about you? Final thoughts? Um, One, <laughs> what loot is in this chamber? I don't have two, the time to list it all. <laughs> two, DJ, God damn you, you did a fantastic job. Three, I'm salty as fuck that I missed with that inflict wounds. <laughs> uh, oh, uh, special note, it wouldn't have done any damage. Because <laughs> it was the chronic. Oh, I was you always know hoping you, you would have You should have should just let it hit because that would have even... No, I think it was more disappointing that you missed. Like, oh... I think I was better that you missed because just watching go, 
You were so <laughs> deflated. Yeah, he was right. Deflated was right. Fucker, fucker, eat shit and die. In many ways, that was better than that was better than killing your character. <laughs> and uh, you yeah. know what? I doff my hat to you, sir. <laughs> So as for my final thoughts, this was a tremendous amount of fun. You did an awesome job. The riddles, the riddle, that first one. First, though, was, first time we've done how, riddles in how many games? I mean, Frank has thrown it in there before when he did the Hand of Babe one. We had riddles, but uh, yeah. we had, yeah, we had something like that. But yeah, it d- doesn't happen too often. But yeah, it's it always makes it an extra interesting aspect to the game, I think. Uh, I had a great time, so thanks. Uh, so as for the normal to sign us off, um, of course, as usual, talk, follow us on Twitch, follow us on Twitter, check out YouTube for all the back episodes of the campaign, the ro- uh, between the roles and the cacophony, the Saturday one shots and the- I'm If you want to shoot at the name. table, yeah, do I see at the table? Shit at the table, what? Well, wait, 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 <laughs> wait, see, it was YouTube, of course, we have a neat store with nifty gear. That Frank always says is crap, but it's not crap. I love this stuff. Uh, and my we have beer, a Discord. My beer koozie. My beer koozie keeps my beer <laughs> cold as fuck. <laughs> actually, actually, I don't know if they have koozies, but they have duvets. So if you want a really neat bedspread with murder hobo ink all over it, you can. That seriously, <laughs> there are duvets in the friggin' store. Uh, yes, if you want a seat at our table, of course. Um, next week's campaign, which I know obviously is closed, it's our finale. Holy crap. I'm uh, rooting for you guys. For, yeah. for, for, all things considered, I am rooting for you guys. I'm so uh, They're just all dead. They're I'm all freaking... I am absolutely terrified because I've, I've got... Kyle engineered that I got the freaking staff, so... Uh, uh, I'm g- given what I know of this. Frank, I'm pretty sure it's just... <laughs> this has all been just a setup so he can gloat after killing them all and describe how the world has gone hey, crap. Hey, it is the last session regardless. So I made it to the last <laughs> session. Uh, and let's see, what else? Uh, so we're going to see the table. Of course, thanks to our sponsors. Uh, this is Godfish Games. And I did look up the info on how to RPG with your cat. The next session is December 12th, which I believe is a Sunday. Six, Six. sorry. I see the 12th here and I'm friggin'. All right, so. December 6th <laughs> at 3 p.m. I got it right here, Frank. Um, Frank is in my <laughs> ear. <laughs> go look it up if you're uh, in. Uh, 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 go look it up. Don't no. listen to her. Just go look it up. Yeah, it is on it is it is on the Twitter. He uh Frank did retweet it under the Murder Hobo Inc. Uh, Twitter. So yeah, it follows on Twitter, then you get to find out all the neat stuff. But thanks to them for uh their sponsorship and Adventure Sense. It said they're the really awesome smells, except for, of course, that sewer one that Frank always says, watch out, it it tastes. Um, and then the other course is Pirate Dog Dice, uh, makers of awesome, awesome dice. And with that, uh, everybody give a crazy wave or whatever, and we'll see What do you, you get when you cross an owl with a bungee cord? I don't know. My ass. Yeah. Uh... uh...